So today is really cool because today we are going to look at the benchmark chat. Does the graphics update apply to the whole game or just certain parts of it? It's just certain parts of it because they apparently they, they can't like completely revamp everything you see in the entire game straight away. Um, so some things are still going to be fucky. And some things are going to be good. Even within a glamour set, they said that like some pieces of your glamour set might be updated, but other pieces of clothing are still going to be low res. <laughs> so um, it's going to be kind of all over the place. But I know that for the Dawn Trail stuff, of course, all that's going to be uh, up to date. Like I think the job gear, only Paladin is getting updated straight away. Hello, is this the Viera No support group? Oh my god, I hope not. I'm gonna confirm these rumors right now. I have heard the rumor and I'm I'm terrified. I've heard the the whole oh my god, I'm so worried. I watched someone make characters in creator for six hours. I don't know about you guys. Hrothgard looks so good. So the few screenshots that I've seen this morning, uh while getting ready. Hrothgar's looks, the Hroth girl theme, like, they look so much better than I thought originally. Let's, uh, I want to take a look. Okay, so, anyways, let, let's, uh, talk about the benchmark, because it has been a little controversial, and I have heard some things that are a little bit concerning that I need to confirm myself to see, are people off base with these things are, are they is it real are people overreacting i don't know this is what we're going to figure out today about the benchmark there is one thing that they have done with the benchmark in the new graphics update which i'm extremely unhappy about and that is what they've done to my precious moon cat the moon catter the moon catters yeah let me, let me pull it up I'm gonna get me put this on here i'm so upset about this i cannot believe they did this i cannot believe they did this Okay. This is it. Look what they did. So we're going to check the benchmark right now ourselves. But they removed... They removed the fangs, the teefies on moon cats. Yeah, check it out. This is completely, this has got to be an error. Yeah, I, I feel like it's got to be an error. It's good. They just must have made a mistake. Because this is one of the most significant differences between the different clans that we have in the game. And this was a reason, like, before I was a Viera, I was Mooncat. So this is my original, and I picked Mooncat partially because of the fangs that you get. Look at this. It, I mean, it, you have, like, a little, it doesn't, it's not good. This is nothing. You're a cat. Like, you need to have these canines. Oh, my God. Oh my god. That's the only thing so far that I'm like actually really upset about. Yeah, so it's distinct. As a moon cat, I'm devastated. Have you seen it? Did you notice it before I pointed it out? They're closer to the old mouth four moon fangs now. I think they might have just used mouth four as a base by accident. They'll probably fix it. You need to give them a piece of your mind about it if you get in the media tour. If it's not fixed by the media tour, I absolutely will. Uh, okay, let me actually open up the Twitch chat overlay here too so I don't miss y'all's chat. Are benchmarks usually an indication of how the expansion would be? Yes. Especially this benchmark. Because this, uh, like, the character data that you make in the benchmark, you can use it in Dawn Trail. You'll be able to use the uh, appearance data that you've saved in the final version of uh, Dawn Trail. So, I mean, there's, that doesn't mean that they won't still change things a little bit before then, but with so little time left before uh, release, I doubt that we're going to see much changes um, from, what, from what this is. But yeah, look at that. Oh my god! 
Uh, I've seen Reddit posts about people not being able to load character creator and play with their character. Ooh, really? Well, we're about to test that. I'm gonna I'm gonna log into the. I just downloaded it. I have not had time to do anything over the weekend. I've been so busy, so we're gonna do it right now. Vieira still have their bun nose. I so yeah, I heard the some. Uh, I heard concerns about that. But there's a few concerns we are gonna check ourselves right now. Okay, let's get into the the bunch mark. Okay, there we go. There we go. Um, I'm scared to click on it because it has its own audio settings, which are different. So I'm not going to turn on the music for the benchmark for y'all to hear. Yeah, so Reventon, you had the same thing happen with the benchmark? Well, we're testing it. I have OBS on. I'm streaming. So we're going to see how it goes while I'm streaming. It's so fucking loud. You can probably even hear it from my headphones. <laughs> what I'm going to do... Can I turn it down in the volume mixer? Yes. And I will do that right now. Okay. Okay, let's mute the music and try to okay how's that <laughs> now you can hear it okay great has anyone been able to figure out like new spell effects it's so colorful. It's like I have reshade on already. I really like this snake boss. You know this is gonna be a world boss hunt. This is an S rank. What's the highest score you can get, do you know? Is that monster a viper? <laughs> yes, there's he's and also he's fighting a snake. Wow. Oh, look at the look at the textures on people's gear. Oh my god, it's so exciting. Look at those rocks. Look how rocky those rocks look. Oh my god. And the metal on the sword. This is so cool. <laughs> Hands, toes, fingers, feet looking better. <laughs> it's so clean. Yeah, the music's also- this is a great track. Oh, that's the guy who's gonna sell us the alpaca? Oh yeah, where's- Did someone alert Llama Todd? <laughs> it's a stampeding cactuar. Are we gonna see that? As you're moving through the zone, just like, herds of alpacas? Moving by. I'm actually so excited about the alpaca mail. <laughs> Todd and his chat were ecstatic when they saw a bed. <laughs> I'm happy for him. Oh, look how cute Kryle is with her little Moogle summon. Pictomancer is so cute. It's very kawaii. It's probably gonna be the most kawaii job. I like it for that, but I also, like, when I'm fighting, I want it to look like it will hurt. 
Like, I want to summon a Moogle that... Whoa. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to summon a Moogle that, like, pulls out a machete or a chainsaw. You know, I don't want to just, like... I don't want to shoot rainbows and sparkles. Very high. Yeah, I mean... Is that as good as you can get? Is that the best score you can get? Look, everyone cheering for me in my beastly... Oh my god, look at the little thing! <laughs> so cute! Oh my god, a little kid! This is a little baby. Okay, but I wanted to make a uh, character. I want to go into character creator and I got distracted. Before that, there were some other things that I wanted to point out that I need to investigate. So this is it. First, we've already discussed this travesty, which maybe they'll fix it, maybe they won't, I don't know. Second thing uh, I've seen is this, and I don't know if any of you have also noticed it, or if this is still the case, uh, but there's a neck seam visible with the uh, Ara, which are, we are about to check that out too. And uh, I can see it here as well, which is absolutely horrible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is something we're also going to investigate right now. Let's do that first before I forget. Okay, let's create a new character. Let's start with um, Mikote. Mm -hmm. Let's look at our moon cats. Um, I always do Limza. I always do Limsa and I turn it around so that her face is in the sun. Okay. Can I make her try to make her look like my original character? Face paint. I think I had. Okay. Uh, eyes? Let's see. Ooh! It feels darker than before. I mean, like, the uh, the lighting feels a little darker than before. Do you guys feel it, feel that way? It's not blasting sun in your face. But do you feel like it's not... I mean, that's it's not a bad thing. Like, I guess the lighting feels more natural than before, where if you put your character like this, it would be... <laughs> um... Now, I feel like the nose looks quite different. Because this was the face I used before. Let me just check the different types of noses. What was the nose? Oh, th I think this was the nose I used. Yeah, okay, this was it. No, the, the nose looks the same. Oh, it's nice. Oh, it's cute. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, eye color. She had blue eyes. Now, is this where you can see the eyes actually moving a little bit? Like Yoshi P said at the live letter. I don't really see it here. I, I don't I don't think I see it here. They said they had it turned off at certain points. So they might have that effect turned off during character creation. They said they had it turned off in cutscenes as well. Uh, Colossus says, are you going to have the grinding gear guys on your interview VOD channel? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they've expressed interest in being interviewed as a little... I would love that. That would be awesome. Right now, my uh, my bun cast is kind of on hold because of all of the chaos uh, going up around um, my moving to new location. My life is even more chaotic than a usual in the past week. So it's it's on hold for the time being, but I want to get it back up as soon as I realistically can. But that would be awesome. Yeah, I would love to do that. Which hairstyle? Oh, they don't let you use the custom hairstyles. The, I mean, you know, the like gear abanya. Those that's my fave. That's the one I usually go with. I want one that's not going to cover the forehead. 
uh, just while I'm looking. I guess I'll look. I'll use this one for now. Okay. Uh, how do I get her to open her mouth? The lips look different. Uh, the lips, like, you can see there's... I don't know if that was present before. You can see the texture of the lip. I don't... Yeah, there, she doesn't have any lipstick on. And this skin color looks a little bit... Green? Yeah, okay. Eye color? I mean, hair color... I'm just recreating my OG. Yeah, cheer. Let's try that. OG character. I think she was something like this. Facial features. Man, I didn't realize that Mikote has um, not very bushy eyebrows. I got used to my bushy eyebrows I have. That's good. Yeah, that's her. That's that's my girl. Original. Maybe you can get bushier eyebrows? No, that's it. Alright. Hairstyle. The, the headband. Let's try a different. That's her! <laughs> oh my god! Well, sh this- the nose seems more shiny. The eyes feel way more lifelike. Okay, let's see the... This is like a blast from the past for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No way, dude. No! How could you do this to me? No! That is some bullshit. Look, they need to fix this right now. It's like, is it even anyone? You, there's like a slight, very slight uh, fangs. <sighs> but it's not like before. What about what about Sun Cat? Let's just look at Sun Cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, can I zoom in more? Okay, voice. It's easier to see. So the Sun Cat has even less. So that was their answer to having it be a little bit more pointy. But it's not... It's barely noticeable now. Like, the legit fangs are gone. It's like, it's just way too subtle compared to what we have before. Just as a reference, here's what we have. Like, this is vampire teeth, basically. <laughs> I feel like this is just, it's, it's too iconic to cut it down and shave it off so hard. Our bud nose is still looking too human. I haven't looked at the bud noses yet. We're about to check it out. He better fix these teeth. He better fix the teeth. Okay, that I, I really will. I really will bring this up if I get a chance to talk to Yoshi P uh, at the media tour, which is feels unlikely. <laughs> right now, it feels a little unlikely. Okay, uh, here we have the seam, uh, which I'm going to investigate next. The seam and the aura neck. Let's see if this is still... Actually, let's check here. Uh, I don't think... I think this is fine. I don't see any weirdness here. This seems totally okay. Uh... Uh, am I overthinking this, or? Yeah, I guess this is okay. This is fine. Okay, so, uh, going back. Oh, new character. 
<laughs> Look how they massacred my kitty. Okay, let's check out the Aura situation. Let's check out... Oh my god, she is so cute. Even from this distance. Oh my god. Aura looks amazing. They, I still wish that they would let you pick different horns for different faces. I, I don't understand why they couldn't do that now that we have a, a graphics overhaul. Like, what, what's the problem? Okay, the seam. Do you see any seam? I don't. But maybe it's my settings. This, look, the scales look incredible. The scales look incredible. No lipstick. That's fine. Nose. I'll do that one. Face. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any issue. They must have fixed it. Unless anyone else has been able to reproduce that. It looks good to me. Let me try moving her, like having her move her head. For the, uh. Ooh, yeah. See if we can find it there. <clears throat> you think that someone might, they might have made it up since their account is number one. Square <laughs> Enix later. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. It seems like an obscure thing to. Oh, I think I've seen it. Oh, I did see it. I did see it. Look. Oh, shit. I, I did see it for a second. Okay, if you can, you can do it too. If you look at uh, type four, look at her neck. Yeah, you can see the seam. Let me try to get in a little closer. Yeah, it, you can just do this emote. Let me try another one. You can just do this emote on any... It's the uh, one where, like... Yeah, you can see it. It's definitely there. It's definitely there and it's apparent. You said for... Yeah, it's really obvious. Okay. <laughs> you can go in there and check it. Let me see if it's on the, um... Zayla 2. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be way harder to see. Because, uh, obviously, she has... All these scales. Uh, let's pick one with less scales on the neck. Okay. Yeah, you can see it there too. Oh my god. You see that? Oh my god, dude. They need to fix this. <laughs> Here it's even easier to see. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, a thing that they should also fix. It's easier to see. Okay, um, what about the male aura? Do they have it? Oof. Let me ask you a question. Oh, you want to ask me a question? Is it the same for males? We're gonna do the- we're doing the testing right now. <laughs> uh... Okay. First, uh... Let's see if we can get one where you can see his neck well. Okay, let's try this one. Oh my god, he looks so good! Oh, overall... Looks amazing. Okay. 
Like, the glow looks a million times better on the eyes. Okay, but, but anyway, we're here to check. I don't see it on the mail. Uh... Yeah, I don't see it on the male at all. It's only on the female. Wow, he looks so great. I love him. Oh my god, I love him. Maybe I'll play male aura. <laughs> It just seems to be female. That's the issue. Oh, wait. Okay. What if someone else has it? Can we just check? Let's just check. Uh. Face. No, I think it's just. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think it's just our female that has it. So, that's a thing to fix as well, but... He said male Ellis and look absolutely amazing. I mean, the Mikote looks amazing except for the, uh, the loss, the tragic loss of the fangs, which is completely un unacceptable. Is it just me or do they turn green slash blue when it's overcast? Yeah, I feel like that. Yeah, I, I feel like that as well. Um, it does feel greenish and blue because look. Okay, let's look in Gerdania. This is the like more true colors of this character, right? This is the colors of the character. And look at there. Now it feels like quite greenish and blue. Like she looks sickly. I guess it's because uh, we are in a greenish and blue environment and it's reflecting those colors. Oh, see, now it's the sun's coming out and you can see that it's like showing a, a more normal uh, natural light. But whenever it's overcast, you're completely correct. Like it starts to look very green and blue, like a weird. Yeah, it's, it's a bouncing light coming from the ground. Yes. But, I mean, it's it's probably good to see that. But, I mean, here it just seems like... I think some of it's just going to be uh, a matter of getting used to it. Getting used to how lighting is reflecting off of different things more. Wow, look at the... Um, these facial markings look awesome. It's... This is pretty, this is pretty amazing. I'm like, I haven't even looked at my character yet. <laughs> but uh, Mikaote look, look great. They look great. What else we got? Oh, you can see a little, like, the texture on the band-aid. <laughs> cool. This is so cool. Oh my god, it's so exciting. Look at the ground, the ground. And the, uh rocks and stuff you can actually see little flowers behind <laughs> this is so much fun uh now next thing i've noticed uh well i didn't notice i saw this on a, a different tweet someone has pointed out that now different hairstyle highlights on mikote will show um it will dye the ears also, so let's check that out. I thought that was a really cool observation. Oh. So let's see how this is going to dye her ears. Uh, let's do... Oh, it's only on certain hairstyles that it's going to do that. Okay, uh, so let's see which ones. Not all. I don't see any that do it yet. Hmm. Hmm. The one shown in the example was this one. Oh, maybe it's just because I've chosen too light of a color. 
Let's try black so it's more obvious. Black. Or let's do uh, black with the white. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's it's really subtle. It's really subtle. <laughs> so here you have like white. See, some have a little bit of like a faint brushing on the ears. That's cool. That's awesome. We're going to see how that affects the, the bunny ears in a second too. Look, look at this. This is a really cool effect where just the the tips, like just the fringes of the ear fur is white. That's so neat. That's so neat. That's going to add just so much more uh like it makes the it makes the whole look look way more natural. It's an extra customization you get now as a fl furry ear enjoyer. It's, uh, you can see they, they did this with love. <laughs> oh yeah, some of this like quite, quite big difference. Look how cool that is. Oh my god. <laughs> but you can pick like a more, if, if you pick a more subtle color, like like we showed you a second ago. It's really, really gentle effect. Super neat. Super neat. I wonder if this will affect NPCs. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think it should. Look how cute. Oh my god, it's so cute. <laughs> it is super cute. It is super cute. Uh, but we're going to see how it affects the bun bun ears in a moment. Um... Yeah, the high quality hair it looks so good. It looks so good. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, it's good. No, it's all good. It's all good. I'm just like now after I've seen the seam on our uh, I'm like hyper vigilant looking for anything weird. <laughs> it's all good. Here though. Okay, what about cat boys? This is so amazing. Okay. It like almost brings a tear to the eye to see facial features we looked at, hairstyles and stuff we looked at. It turned into a Skyrim modder. <laughs> yeah. You should be confirmed it affects NPCs, but only NPCs that use the same art assets as the player character. Right. Doesn't Graha? He's the same model as character. He just has different eye color, which you can't get. Um, okay. So let's see the boys. Um... Nora, what are you... Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's just rolling on her on her back. Poor king. Ooh. Ooh. So these facial features look a lot better now. Tattoos. Cool. That's awesome. Okay. Tattoo color, let's do. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. Hair color. Oh yeah, does this do the same thing for male Mikote, I wonder? I mean, I bet it does. Looking, yeah, it does. It's the same effect. <laughs> you can have like white tips on your ears if you want. <laughs> That's great. Oh my gosh, people are gonna be so happy when they notice this. Amaze. Amazing. So this is another one. Yeah. <laughs> That's very stylish and cool. Look how cool that is. <laughs> what about the tails? Let's see if I can go look at the tail. Tails more fluffy. More fluffier tails. 
not not crazy. Uh, this was always my preferred tail. This is the one I always used. <laughs> As a catter. What about the hands? Hands looking better in general. Okay. Facial features. The lion tail is the best tail. It's not even close. Different faces. Wow, that looks cool. That looks a lot better than before, I feel like. That's the Graha face. This was probably my favorite. I always thought this one looked the best. Uh, that's, that's the go-to. But this one actually looks really good now. I like this one better than I did. Kind of like a grizzled, grizzled warrior type guy. Small clothes. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's so nice. Like the leather textures actually look realistic. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> What about his feet? <laughs> I'm just trying to get a good look at his feet. The feet? Like, you actually have toes? No. <laughs> yeah. The feet look a lot better. A lot better. Look at that. Let's look at everyone's feet. It's a feet... <laughs> Foot and door. <laughs> yeah, you got toes. Looks like Risley from Kitchen. Oh my god, it does. Oh my god, it does, though. <laughs> yes. Any, any weirdness with the net? <laughs> if only they would add nipples. Cool. Looks looks great. Okay, let's go back. Now, uh, there is... I, basically, I'm going to look at everybody. I am going to be looking at every single... Uh, one. But... There's another thing I wanted to do. Yeah, so... Before we look at bunnies... Before we look at the bun buns... This is what I've seen... And we need to investigate this. I saw this tweet. FF14 graphics update. What did they do to the Viera? So what does their post say? <sighs> okay. I'm going to look at this, and I'll be the judge of what looks better. I'll be the judge of this. Okay, yeah, hold on. Because, I mean, we'll see. Lighting can be unpredictable. I mean, lighting, not unpredictable, but... Lighting can be a thing you need to adjust to you seeing, and it can reflect off the character in unpredictable ways as well. So let's look at it. Uh, buns. My precious. <laughs> My precious. Bun boys. Mm -hmm. My... My own, my only, best, most favoriteest bun boys. Uh, okay, let's do this one and look at the faces. Uh, with facial features on, no freckles. I feel like 
Okay. He has tattoo. You need to change a little bit. Okay. Different environment. This face, do we have a reference for it from before? I I'm going to have to pull it up in the game so I can compare. Try the Thanalan environment. Okay. I'm going to go to character creation in the game. Because right now I don't know about this face. Okay, so here we got it. Uh, the bottom left is the game right now. And the main screen is the Dawn Trail benchmark. So uh, I'm going to change the hairstyle in both to be one where I can see uh, the face really clearly. Okay, hairstyle. It's darker. Okay, let me put him like this. Honestly, the left looks way better right now. But why? I think one thing that's throwing it off is the uh, the tattoo around the eyes. Like this is complete. I haven't changed anything but the hairstyles, so they have the same hairstyle, so you can see. Um, so you can see the hairs, but with like tattoo color, it's this like light peachy color. Is that the same in the game currently? Let's see. Yeah, it's the same. It's exactly the same. Also, the, I guess the changes to how the hair, like, does he have highlights? Because the hair looks more gray <laughs> with the benchmark. Dude. What's going on here? What's the issue? What is the issue? I, f I think the first issue is the, uh... The eyes. It's this... The eyeliner appears really differently. Like, here it's more true to the color uh, that, it sh that it shows that it's going to be like this peachy color. So let me try to change that. I'll change the tattoo color. But like, straight up... Actually, before I change any tattoo color, let me look at the different faces. Let's do that first. So this is face one, which has usually been one of my favorite faces. And now it looks significantly worse. Like, this, this looks so much worse. Maybe I'll be able to fix it, but just right out the box without any changes. That's why I'm not I'm not in despair yet, because I think I might be able to fix it. But right out the box, it looks way worse. Um, second face. <laughs> Honestly, I never really liked the second face that much, but I do think that looks better before. <laughs> Also, okay. I mean, I'm not sure actually. Looking at them now, I'm not a big fan of either one of these faces, but I do think before is a little better. Okay, face three. Another one of the best faces. This one looks good. Um, it's the, uh, I think that the biggest issue and biggest difference is again, it's this eye, it's the eyeliner looking very strange. But what else is it? Is there something else going on? I think it's something with the nose. You think maybe it's the eyelashes? I can barely see the eyelashes. Hmm. Zep, can you also stare at the camera soullessly? Okay.
Okay. Here's phase four. Um. Okay. This is the benchmark. This is the benchmark that I'm circling with the gray hair. His hair is gray for some reason now. <laughs> I think it's the beard is the problem here. Okay, let's 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 actually try to fix these characters to look better. Okay, uh, but I need to pick the exact same color. I'll do. I'll pick this one because it's easy to find. Okay, that's good. The beard, I'm not a fan. Does the beard look better before than now? I haven't looked at the girl bunnies yet, no. Because uh, the bunny boys is going to be my priority. I think... An, a, a big difference that I'm noticing... A big difference I'm noticing right now. Maybe it's not a big difference, but... I feel like the shape of the mouth is a little different. Here, it, it almost curls up slightly. I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing things. But I feel like the, the upper lip seems a little bit smaller. Okay. Now, let's get rid of the, the beard, because I'm not a fan of the beard. Personally. Okay, so... Uh, I'm also not a fan of this. I think this is odd. <laughs> because it doesn't connect with the hair, so it's a bit odd, in my opinion. Alright. Bun boy. Um. I just can't put my finger on... What's, what's, what's strange here? I can't do it. Like, what is it? Let's change the nose, maybe. They did keep the bunny noses. So I'm happy about that. Some people scared me by saying that uh, bunny noses were gone, but they're not. Look, he has a bunny nose. That's fine. Change the nose to nose two. I mean, I think this looks fine. Like you, I mean, I needed to mess with it a little bit, but uh, you said the the eyebrows seem lighter on the new one. Let's change the eye the hair color because I, this looks very gray. <laughs> this is not like as for as dark as this color is supposed to be. Okay, this is blackest black hair now that I'm putting on both. Okay, now they have the same hair color, it's blackest black. Okay, here's our benchmark. Benchmark, benchmark boy. And... I guess it's just the reflection of the sky making the top of the ha hair look more blue. I mean, that's actually what's going on. We're not used to seeing reflections of colors from the environment, and that is something that I'm noticing a lot that I didn't see before. <clears throat> so this, what I'm circling here is Dawn Trail. This is the benchmark right here, this guy. Um, try nighttime. Okay, it's evening. There's a difference. Now, let's check the other faces again. 
I personally think, yeah, it's better. <laughs> it is better. Now that I've made some changes, let me change the eye colors too. It's just whenever you compare them side by side, the default characters, um, one looks a bit odd. Let's give him... I don't know. I don't know. Color. Do that. Okay. Oh crap, that's hair. Eye color. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the daytime. Oh. Midday. Okay. This is Dawn Trail. Right here. The thing with the bunny models are they're newer though. So the glow up is less noticeable. Yeah, I guess that's true, but at the same time. I'm gonna change the tattoos here to black, which is this eyeliner that you would get. Uh, I feel like the in the original, the jaw, I mean, the, the chin looks more square. Like you have almost this, <laughs> I don't know if this is a good thing, but there was this quite a harsh sh square shadow here. And it's softer now. Yeah, the white hair is a reflection. Yeah, you're right. It's a reflection. Which is, I think it's cool. I think that's not a bad thing. Uh, Klutzion, thank you for the 18-month reset, by the way. Appreciate that. Uh, I think the benchmark is better overall. I do too. I do too. Like, right now we are... Uh, hyper analyzing this because this is Bun Boys. <laughs> like this is real. This is very serious shit. This is a pretty big deal. Wait a minute. Did I just see what I thought I'd seen? Yes. Look, I can see the seam. It's not as pronounced. But I definitely can see it. Like, if you're looking for it, you can see it. Here it is. That's old version. But I see it in the new version here. Look. You can see this darkish line. Oh, let me move the... Uh... Yeah, can you see that? Yeah, I see. Right here. It's not as bad as on um, our raw, but there it is. <laughs> yeah, and whenever he does an emote, it's a little bit more apparent. Oh, you can't see anything. Yeah, maybe you won't be able to see anything because of the bitrate. Yeah, there I could see it a little bit more. But it's not a big deal. This is really not a big deal at all because you have to like really squint for it. It's not like the situation with Aura, which is quite bad. Okay, now... This is my favorite one, phase three. So can we make him as cute? As before. I think because of the subsurface, the shadows don't show as much, especially around the eye ridge and below jaw. It makes it a lot less edgy. Yeah. This is new. Yeah, I think that it is just about the shadows.
It's about how the shadows are, and that's what makes the face seem so different. Because I feel like with the male Viera, the way the shadows uh, sit on the face is something that gave each face a lot of its own unique definition. And now it definitely feels more smoothed over. And that affects some of like the little, some of the character that the face has had. So like, do I think it's the end of the world? No, I think overall it is better. It is an improvement. But um, it feels a little smooth, I guess. I don't really know how else to describe it. Let's go to the crystal, crystalline. Hmm. I feel like the eyebrow color is not as strong too, because this is blackest black hair. And here I feel like the eyebrows are a little bit more gray. Nose is a bit darker. Oh. Is that a facial feature? Oh no, you can actually, you can, you can adjust that. But can't you adjust that? I didn't change it here. Here it has that adjustment now. Character creation still uses the old lighting, so it looks better in the benchmark. True. Could you please show pink hair? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Here we go. Is that the same type of pink? No. Okay, there we go. So here's our bunch bunch mark boy. And Yeah, I don't know. I guess I feel I feel good about it overall, and I think that what we're doing is looking for nitpicks. And that, like, there's definitely a certain lighting where it's gonna look worse. But it's just because of different lighting and shadows. It feels like it's better to me. It really does seem better. But it's, you know. Can we try a different hairstyle? Yes. Yes. Good idea. Uh, one thing I did want to check is... See, this is my favorite hairstyle for the bun. I think that's the best. I wanted to check, do the, um... Yeah, look how good... Honestly, he... yeah, it looks great. <laughs> This looks great. This looks amazing. You can kind of see better like, how the light shines through the hair too. Um, but one thing I wanted to see is how did the hair highlights affect the ears? Oh my god, it's so cute. I think they did affect it already. But I want to do a side by side. <laughs> Okay, so here's uh, before. And that's after. Cute. Bun ears did have that already. Let's check the different hairstyles. Uh, this is our bunch mark. Oh, this is a new... 
that's a new hairstyle because that's what our guy has that's what meteor has in the dawn trailer what is he tying it up with it looks like electrical wire <laughs> Oh, so basically, um, just like before, all the bunny ears, it's, it's going to be the same. It's not like with Mikote where you got a slightly different effect on each hairstyle. Because they just, I mean, this is, that's fine. I think it might, it might be weird if like half your ear is white and the other half not. This kind of does make more sense. It's because you can choose the ears. Yeah, I think so. That looks great. I'm, I'm glad. I, I got a little scared after seeing this um, tweet. But I think the it's just lighting being different. Really. It's just lighting being different. Like... I like how the uh, the eyes just seem a lot more lifelike, and you do absolutely keep bunny noses, which was a big concern of mine. Wish I could read this. Colors have changed through the graphics update. The impression is different and the face is different, is what they said. What do you think? I think it looks better in a benchmark. <laughs> yeah, I do. I mean, you can see the difference in the clothing also. Okay. Yep. Overall, it's nothing to worry about. There was another uh, before and after. Here's another before and after. It's better. Straight up. It's straight up better. People are used to look their character looking good in almost any lighting. Now, just like real life, some lighting will make you look good and some will make you look bad. Oh my god, that's so fucking true. Yeah. With more realistic shadows and lighting, it means that there's going to be more variation with how your character looks from place to place. And from how the shadows and light are reflecting on your face. I think that is absolutely it. And for some people, it's just, it, it's going to feel different. And they're not used to that. But I think given it some time, they're going to uh, appreciate it more. For sure. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm -hmm. Do you think they'll allow trust for trials soon? Patch content is impossible. Um, yeah, I think that they are working on it. I, I think they said that they're working on it, but I'm not... I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure they did set up. Yeah. One thing that I'm seeing is just, like... Hair. <laughs> the hair looks so much better, dude. <laughs> hair honestly looks amazing. Wow. <laughs> like, the hair has improved massively. Look here. Can you see the before still? Where did I, where did I put it? It's before. Oh my god. It's like... Dude, like, how, you can't even compare these things. A lot of people are also seeing their characters without mods for the first time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, so let's. We looked at the bun boys, um, and I'm happy with it. 
At first, though, it's like, I, I feel like maybe they need to go through and change, maybe change the, uh, the default character. Because, like, if you just, if you go, uh, straight into character creator. Um, if you look at the defaults. I felt like default Rava looked worse in the benchmark without changes. Okay. This is Vina. I guess this is not going to be very different. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> this, is the, this is the benchmark again. close. I mean, the eyes, too, have a lot more definition to them. The eyes look... Let me change the eye color. And the benchmark to... I don't know, this color is fine. So this be four? I think the eyes look a million times better. You don't need a mod for your eyes anymore. <laughs> you said the discourse around these model changes is basically identical to when Blizzard updated the original character models in World of Dreadhor. It was a huge W. Yeah, it, I agree. It does remind me of that. But there were some things that they changed with the original character models that I wish that they hadn't. And so it's. I think it's worth... Like going through it with a fine tooth comb, basically, and deciding like what, what could have been different, because then they might go back and make, make adjustments based on the feedback. Like for example, with uh with Blizzard, whenever they changed the, well they also changed animations for walking and stuff. That was crazy. I really didn't like the, how they changed my male undead walk. They made him a little more bouncy, and I did not like that. I wanted him to be, I wanted him to look like, have this sort of this mechanical walk. I felt like that, that made more sense, but anyway, that's, a, I'm not going to get off on that tangent. Said, um, yeah, default Vina looks great. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm going to start from default again, just to show you. Lose progress. You, th you said, uh, I think it's more about having more toggleable options in the end. I do remember that Yoshida did say they're going to add more options in character creation after they're done with graphics updates. Oh, really? Well, I know that he'd been saying for a really long time. Oh, look, I have actually have all of my uh, character data that I can import. Do I have my bunny boys saved? Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. 32. Slot 32. Bunny boy. Because I have a ton of retainers. Bunny boy retainers. So this is my... And, you know, I spent time on these so that they would look really, really hot. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, it's better. <laughs> it's straight up better. Look at him. Looks so good. Oh, my God, looks so good. Way better. Like, I think people, look, you need to spend time in the character <laughs> You need to spend time in it because he looks more lifelike. He just looks more alive. He doesn't look as a dead. So the mole is scuffed. <gasps> You're right. Good catch. Oh my god. The mole is scuffed. Oh, fix it. Yoshi P, fix it. Let me take a screenshot. 
right now. <laughs> oh my god. I could make a tweet right now about it. <laughs> right this fucking second. He's an all gone scum. Fix, please. His beauty mark. Okay, let me take a picture of the before. I mean... Let me rearrange it. So that... Man, Twitter is so shitty now. His beauty mark. FFXIV. Should I add FFXIV? And what is their, uh, Twitter handle. Oh my god. What's her Twitter? FXV Twitter. Where's Yoshi P's Twitter? <laughs> okay, it's FF underscore XIV underscore in. Okay. All right, I'll let them know. So we handled it. Okay, uh, <laughs> next. <laughs> um, all right, so what else were we looking at besides how cute and beautiful he is now and just like how, how pretty? Can you see the stray hair? What? What? What do you mean? Where? Where? Where is it? I don't see it. Oh. oh okay. Right now. Just, yeah, he doesn't have any flaws besides the mole being scuffed. Besides that, it's okay. Um, other bunny boys that I have. Uh, he said the eyebrows are softer now, and now you have permanent lipstick all the time. Does the lipstick get actually dark? No. I wanted to give him, like, black. Black lips. But they don't let you do that. They don't... I mean, it's, it's probably a little better. But they don't really let you do it. Okay. Uh, other buns. Other buns. Yeah, I went goth bun. Okay. Load appearance data. Who else we got? I have so many bunnies. <sighs> Zepgar. <laughs> bun Boy Blue. Slot 31. That looks great. Let me see it. Okay. That's OG. Oh my god. He's so pretty. That's so nice. Looks looks great. But you're right about the lighting being less predictable. The shadows and lighting being less predictable. Looks less pissed off. Yeah, he does. I don't know if I like that. 
I liked him looking kind of pissed off. <laughs> okay. Are the forums raging about this? Oh my god. I mean, it looks good. It looks good. Maybe the lips feel different. Maybe the lips seem a little different. Because there's, it seems like there's more coloring on the lips, the bottom lip especially, compared to before. And, um... Limza is no longer... Like, Lanasha seems no longer to be the most excellent place to do character creation. Because when it's overcast, it becomes quite greenish and bluish. So, it's harder to find a more... Um, I don't know what the word is. More default place to test. Because I, all I want is like a field with regular sun and nothing else. Like, I wish they would just stop having the sun get overcast in La Nausha now for the character creator. Uh, how's the inn? Not great. Because <laughs> the shadows are just all over the place. Like here we have shadows that are harsh on the right and left side of the face. Here half the face is in shadow. Here it's all shadow. You know, the best you can get is like this weird situation. Like, why don't you just let me have G-Pose on Character Creator and so let me put the lights where I want. Let me adjust that. I guess Thanalon is the best, still. I guess Thanalon, maybe even Gridania is better now. Yeah, like that and Gridania. Uh, yeah, I think the Gridania is going to be the go-to now. For sure. Like right in front of this... I wonder how bun boys look when they get wet. Oh, I wonder. So the dark ones get really dark skin when they get in water right now. Yeah, I want, there's really no way to test that, right? Is In the benchmark, um, I haven't run the, the benchmark with a custom character yet, but is there any point in it where you're in the water or anything like that? He looks great. Um, this is him. This is the... This is the benchmark right here. Mm, nice. There's an underwater shot, but not as character. Okay. Who else we got? I want to look through the other races too, but I just had to see some of my uh, retainers. Since those are ones that I have appearance data for. I should probably look at my character. <laughs> current Zeppla, non Lala. Well, it's not current anymore. That was October 2023. Save it again. <laughs> Bunny Bun. Oh, that's it. Okay, this is my character right now. Oh, that's such a good point, Zelo. You're so right. You said, I feel like a lot of people were filling in details in their imaginations that are now filled in properly. Yeah, that is very similar to what happened when WoW Blizzard did their uh, character overhaul. It's like when there's less detail, your imagination will fill in the cracks and holes. Uh, okay, this is the bun. Okay, so this is my character right now. We're gonna do Gridania now. I think Gridania is the new Bis location. This is my old. And let's see my bunny now. Okay, well... The eye shape... Feels different. I still have my bunny nose, which is great. I was super scared about that, but as you can see, there is still very much a bunny nose. The lip color, I think I can 
remove. Um, I don't know. Like, without... I, I don't like how I don't have a lip color on. But it still looks like I have it. You know? like, But it was like that before, so I can't say anything. That's not a graphics update problem. That's just a general issue. I usually end up having to put lip color on the character that will make it look like she doesn't have lipstick on. Because I don't like to wear lipstick. So I try to make it so... It's like... More... Um... Neutral? Like that, maybe? That's usually what I end up doing. But it's not a big it's, it does it looks weird. It looks odd. So we're just gonna I think just deal with it. What do you think? So this is the Dawn Trail. This is this is the bunch mark right here. The biggest difference you can see straight away is hair. You can see how much smoother and better the hair looks. Uh, yeah, this is so much better, actually. <laughs> Her face looks less flat. Um, like, one of the reasons I like this character's face is because it's, it's quite round. But, um, she has kind of the same problem that I have, uh, with big lights on my face as a streamer. Because what, I have an issue where if I don't have, like, kind of a darker light and a main light, my whole face just gets... Uh, kind of flattened out. I get what I what we call moon face, which is what my character has in the game right currently. You know, where it's just all flattened out because they have a round face. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing that happens. But uh, if you have decent shadows and lighting, then you, you know your face look, you get more dimension on your face, so it just looks better overall. Uh, so this looks like just more lively. It's cute. Looks great. Okay, let me see her doing some expressions. We have fate with voice 10. Oh, where are you going, girl? Her nose is perfect. What were people talking about? Why do people think that they did not have bunny nose anymore? Well, really? Why were people saying that? They're full of shit. <laughs> She's perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> it was the angle and the skin tone of the character at the time. Yeah, I wonder if there's an angle where you could make it seem like... I think she has even more of a bunny, no bunny nose now. Actually. Here we are in Limsa. No, it's it's as much. She always had a big, a big bunny nose, but... <laughs> The mole, the mole is correct. Yes, that's true. The eyes looking so much more lively. She is perfect. Like, I, I have no notes. Absolutely adorable. And good. Hmm. Let me see. The small clothes comparing. looks good i have no like it's no sh hi zeppola how are you are you trying to build your in-game character yeah I, I have just copied over the appearance data this is my character uh currently previous version and this is my character with the bunch mark with the update to be honest, the change is so subtle, I can hardly tell the difference if it's not max zoom. Regardless of tiny tweaks, any screenshots from in-game will look so much nicer. Yeah, absolutely. With the improved environments, garments, and lighting all working in concert. From a distance, it is harder to tell. But in general, I always thought FF14 had the best looking character models. Like the characters in FF14 looked incredible. They always they always did. But now uh 
is even better. Like, look at the hair. Look at the hair. This is a mess, straight up. Like, <laughs> what we're looking at before... This is a disaster. <laughs> like, I appreciate what they tried to do, but... It's, like, all so zigzaggy, and now it actually looks like... You can see how the, the hair is folded in to a little braid before it goes... Yeah. As for the ears... The ears... I feel like... I'm a little bothered by the fact I still have this sharp fucking line <laughs> from where the ears come out of the head. Like, this looks super weird now. Uh, especially now that the hair looks so much better. What is going on? You know, couldn't we have done something to make it look a little bit more fluffy? Here, because it just looks odd. Everything else is so smooth, and I just feel like this looks really strange. To be popping out in huge polygons. Like that. Maybe other ears. All the ears are going to do that. They all do that. Oh wow, but the I do think the floppy ears look better than before. Looking at the floppy ears. Oh my god, I, I thought the floppy ears looked pretty bad before. But now they look way better. They look so much softer. See that? Here they look like just a uh, shiny plastic kind of. <laughs> I was never- I never thought it looked very good. That's a- that's a really big improvement, I think. Looks like fur now. Poppy ears actually looking great. They're weird about not upscaling some stuff. Beards look weirdly low res now compared to the new haircuts. Uh, the bunny boy beard looked good to me, but I haven't seen every beard in the game. Yeah. See, some of the lighting is just like, what? <laughs> but here she looks amazing. And then, if you're all in shadow, you get... But th that's exactly how lighting works in real life. This is how it works. So it's more realistic. You're gonna have to, uh... Like, this is gonna change the screenshot game completely. This is gonna change it. Now, what about the previous version of my bunny girl? Overall, I'm really happy. Y'all freak me out. Well, not y'all, but, you know, the community. <laughs> not, not my community, but the overall community screaming and, like, freaking out about it. Like, oh, you said that they're freaking out on the forums about this? Because I don't see anything to complain about at all. Like, I guess you might freak out if you don't know how shadows and lighting works. In real life. And this is the... Oh my god. Okay. Let, let's see what people are saying. Hold on. Uh, character graphical changes are not in an acceptable state. And before I get into this, because I'm looking at this for the first time, before I say anything else, everybody is entitled to their own opinion about whether they think it looks good or bad. Especially in a game like FF14, where you are so connected to your character that you've had for like a decade in some cases. It's totally normal to feel like the character looks different and it's not the one that you recognize. And uh, I think every you are absolutely entitled to feeling upset about it if you don't like how it looks. Because you've gotten attached to how it looks a certain way. And uh, I don't think anybody needs to be clowned on for not liking any of the changes to their character. Like, it's such a personal thing. It's such a, it's such a subjective thing. Like, nobody's going to be completely right or completely wrong. It's like, if you like it, great. If you don't, well, that's, uh, that's unfortunate. But you shouldn't be afraid to be able to say that. That's what I'm saying. Uh, okay. So... 
this person says it's not an acceptable state. In the hours since the benchmark was made public, there have been numerous complaints made about changes to characters. And this is a gigantic thread. This is 11 pages on it. We were told they would not change characters drastically. Okay. Uncanny skin textures. Faces look waxy and doll-like. This is a rather big change. And doesn't... Wait, is this your character? Mix well with the overall graphical style. I think it looks really good. <laughs> but that's my opinion. Of course, this can be considered subjective, but there is a reason so many players have such strong reactions to it. Yeah, I, I do think it makes sense that people would have strong reaction. Because it is different. Uh, but I think it looks good. <laughs> I do think, like, it, you just look, you look dewy and moisturized. Okay. Let me, let me pull my, my character again. She, she was like, flourish, flourishing, moisturized in my lane. But this is how your skin looks if you've done your skincare routine. You know? It's, it's very healthy skin. Uh... Put on some cocoa butter. <laughs> yeah. But these eyes, I think these eyes look beautiful. They're very pretty. Um, translucency overtuned thread. Okay. So the new skin under various lighting conditions act more like candles next to a bright light than natural skin. And it should be addressed. Mm. It causes an unnatural waxy look to most skins. And I believe also results in a lot of lost texture. Slash color in the face leading characters that look very different than they used to be. Uh, so this is before and after with different types of lighting. I mean, looking at these two situations, I get what they're saying here. Because here it seems like we have some really harsh shadows that are part of the environment that are not... Um, like, they're, they're not here in this situation. But they should be. If you're standing in the exact same spot like that maybe here the shadows got overly diffused but isn't this something that is affected by uh, i think there's a setting that lets you change how lit your, the character is oh like how lit up the actual character is Uh, you said the one on the right is when a cloud is in front of the sun. There's a face glow setting. Yeah, that's what I was, that's what I was talking about. A lot of this stems from people having their gamma correction turned up. Yeah, there's some different settings that can affect these things. There's a face glow setting. Character lighting is a setting. In current game but it looks turned up in the benchmark but most people have it very low in game yeah that's what I'm saying it seems like there's a character lighting setting that uh, this is what it does because I can actually show you what it does in the main game right now oh. this is a game currently you can't change it here, but I can just go onto my character and show you. The lighting on character creator is bad. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's what I'm noticing, too. I, I really do feel like character creator lighting is so bad. <laughs> like, it wasn't ever great. Uh, but now, it, it does feel bad. Some of these side-by-sides, though, like, Looking here. The, like, the shadows on the left 
look quite terrible. But that's not the issue that we're discussing. The issue is uh, sometimes dark, like hard shadows are natural and should be shown. So are they shown? I think that they are because I think that there were some situations in the new character creator where I did see some harsh, harsh shadows. Uh, but yeah, let me show you the setting that, I'm, that we're talking about. So it's in character config, or is it in a uh, display? Um, graphic settings. I don't remember where it is. I'm going to have to search for it. Uh, maybe display? Character lighting. Here it is. So I have mine turned up to 100. And that's going to... Yeah, I think that's the effect that they're, that they're talking about. So here it's at zero. And I think I turned mine up to 100 because I'm recording videos a lot. And I just wanted to always see my character clearly. So this could be it. This could be what they're talking about. Where it just kind of eliminates these different shadows. Like, that's what that looks like to me. It looks like a setting that's not in the benchmark. But that, uh, that's, that's what that looks like to me. Yeah. But maybe I'm wrong. Well, I mean, that's something that's worth looking at, for sure. But in terms of, um... Like, let's see. Uh, highlights on hair. No highlights. I see highlights, though. I see highlights right there. Lively eyes. Dead eyes. I I also think that um the eyes look much more lively in the benchmark. It's just not always the same at every angle. That's the difference, really. Cuz uh yeah, let me show you. It's not always going to be exactly the same. Here, let me go back to character creator. People nitpick. They do, but I think that it's... Uh, he said, as a colorblind person, I can say I still see the highlight, but there's more contrast in the old version. I think that the reason there's more contrast in the old version is that... Uh, Let me get my bun, bun, bun girl back up here. Uh, it's because whenever you're in Dawn Trail area, the reflections of the sky and reflections of the other lighting and objects around you is affecting the colors of your hair and highlights on your hair. So... At night, we we tested this and we saw that like at night. Let me try to do a highlights here. Mm. Put it like that. Yeah, lighting affects the coloring. A bit. Um, <clears throat> lack of eye shine. It seems that the static eye shine spot was removed to be replaced by dynamic lighting. Yeah, this is an issue as if the lighting is anything less than perfect, it makes our characters look dead. Um. Uh, 
I mean, I don't think she looks dead when she doesn't have that extra twinkle in her eye. <laughs> she still has a little twinkle in her eye, right? Like, I see it the entire time that, that I'm spinning. Oh, you can't see this. Like, here, she still has a little, the little shine of her eye, but there is also an additional shine that is sometimes present depending on where we are, but it's not, like, completely gone. Right? So... There is a twinkle, but here's another one. You know, like... This is... <laughs> oh... Okay, next... Stuff. Removal of bounce light making face more flat. And jaws bleed into necks. I feel like this is also, uh, could be the setting here, but I'm not sure. In any case, I, could, I can't look through all those things. Certain Mikote hairstyles, missing ear patterns. Oh yeah. Oh, that's true. It's just, it's there, it's just way more subtle. But that hairstyle always had a darker ear pattern, which is valid. Changed eye shape, but not eyeliner. Oh, yeah. True, true. Aura scales pixelation. Is that on the leg? The light in the creator is also vastly different to the actual benchmark slash in-game lighting. Uh-huh. Horrifying Elizen female mouth rig. Oh, we haven't looked at Elizen yet. We should do that right now. But that looks pretty bad, yeah. Like, I don't agree with this person about everything, but they're definitely pointing out some things I didn't notice that are worth looking at. Highlights on hair changed for no reason. Like looking at these different side by side. They did change it, but I do think this... I do think this highlights looks better. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's different, but I feel like it's... It looks a lot better. Here it looks really stripey. And this looks way more... Um, faded. And, and just better. So this is a good change, in my opinion. But I see, like, you missed having the light color on your eye, and they could have kept that there. But they did just completely remake how the hair, the highlight sits on the hair. Lip shape changed? Yeah. True. This looks a lot better in general, though. Okay, but what was the thing about the, the Ella's and mouth? What the hell? Let's go check that. Because I haven't looked at Ella's and yet. I've been really focusing on Viera, because this is... That's my, that's my girl. That's my main girl. That's my bun girl. Oh. Let me save it. <laughs> okay. Huh. <sighs> Biggest W or Auras. I think the bunnies look great. I'm really happy with my character. She's even more beautiful than she was. And that is a great bunny nose. Like, in some lighting, I feel like she has even more of a bunny nose than before. Like, look at that. She literally looks like a bunny. It's awesome. Okay, let me create a new character, though. For the Elizin. I wanted to look at Elizin. Elizin female. Mm -hmm. And I will also do this on the second. 
Oh, she looks more youthful. She definitely looks more youthful here. The ears look so much better. Oh my god. The ears look like actual ears. Okay. Oh, she's so cute. Is this where she was standing before? Yeah. Put in the sliding here. See, there are situations when you have this uh, nice shadows and lighting on the face. Like this. Yeah, less serious and warmer. Absolutely. Less papery. Let's change. Look at the hairs. Wait a minute. Um, I mean, I feel like the top of this hair could be smoother. Like, it's definitely better, but it looks like noodles a little bit, don't you think? <laughs> it looks like noodles or like a corduroy couch. It looks a little strange still. Yeah. Uh, I've seen better hair. I've seen much better hair. Okay, and here we have like the weird shot of what's going on. Okay, so this is odd. <laughs> Here I'm seeing a really weird rectangle. Right. Like. Is it a reflection? It's a shadow. It's a weird shadow. You can see another one up here. It's just a weird shadow. It's point. Okay. Okay. Strange, but okay. Blonde will show a lot of weird stuff. Oh, you think? Oh, do you think my bunny, if I put blonde on her, I'll see? We'll, tr we'll try that. There's something casting a box shadow on the hair. Is it that building? <laughs> I mean, the, that mountain? Oh, it's a building. I don't know. I don't know if it is. Maybe. Because here it is again. I have no idea. It doesn't matter. Okay, well, that's a that's an odd thing that they just might want to look at. Uh... <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Uh, no. No. Okay, let's look at this one. You have, like, Stubble? I guess. What do you think about this? See, it's insane to me that anyone's complaining about the new models. I think there's some nitpicks that are, you know, worth looking at. Definitely. But in general, I agree. I feel like with this one, this area needs to be more the color of the skin if that makes sense so it looks like this is actually growing out of your head and it isn't growing out of a void you know it almost looks like a, a cybernetic thing like on this side it seems a little bit better yeah maybe it's just the shadow that made it seem but i don't know I don't know about this. See, this hair, lo this hair looks nice. This is a good hair.
Oh, it looks nice. Yeah, it's like the end of the spaghettis. <laughs> this is an unshort. In general, it looks it looks a lot better. Yeah. Some of the hairs need work, I think. Ooh. Ooh. So that's before. I mean, that's... That is a lot better, of course. As for the... Let me try to change the skin color a little. See how it looks. That's before and after. Wow, the skin... This, this, the texture of the skin seems... Miles, but no, there's some weird thing going on here. I don't know what that is with the edge of the mouth. You see that? I see like a um, rather sharp line going down from here. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's going to be in every in environment. Be like kind of strange. Here it's not really as visible. Yeah, the lip corner is a little funky in places under certain lightings. I feel like there's going to be a lot of little touch-ups they're going to have to do. Uh, okay, let's see the different faces. Let's see the different faces. That was face four. Now here's face one originally. Oh my god, it looks so much better. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, it's not even close. Um, it's not even close. Oh, let me change the eye color. To be the same. Holy shit. She actually looks alive. This is... A million billion times better. Really. It actually looks so much better that it's embarrassing how it looked before. <laughs> now I still though I still see issues with the lip corners though. Like here in the new one, you can see there's like a line that goes horizontally across. And that's strange. The mouth is a little weird, yeah. The, there's something odd going on with it. They need to deal with it because in general it's a million times better. But let me see if I turn off the lip color. It was not an issue before. Outside of a few bugs, I really like it, yeah. Yeah, I do. Let's try the different mouths, maybe, because this is mouth one, maybe the different ones. Hey, Wub, by the way. <laughs> it's good to see you. Okay, this is mouth two. No, they all have it. I think... Yeah, no, they all, they all have this weird thing. Horizontal line. But I love it. Oh my god, you can actually use face one now. <laughs> so much better. Okay, let's see the next face. Are you ready? Face two. This is face two. OG. Now let's see it. Nice. Change to type one mouth here. Wow. Cute. I feel like the lips need a bit more work. Yeah, that's the only thing. But I like it a lot. I think all races look a bit more serious on the idol. <laughs> Where are you going? You can see her hand there. As before, it good. <laughs> Q. 
cute. Try the cheer emote. Oh yeah, the mouth, right. Yeah, the mouth. That was a thing. Okay, so you see the mouths here. There is a weird thing going on with the mouth. In the cheer. See that? Someone pointed this out on the forums. Yeah, see? That's really strange. They should definitely fix that. There's some, there's some weirdness going on. With the mouth. You said the benchmark got big teeth. It looks like the teeth are wider. Uh, teeth more white? Maybe not. Maybe it's just for the, uh, the other clan. Here, let me... You can't see that. Crap. There you can see it now. Okay. That's before. Yeah, they did. They did. The teeth got wider, which makes them seem a little bigger. But it's overall really good. Okay. Oop. Face. The, the new mouth is like rectangular. There's something weird happening. She's like... <laughs> okay, let's see phase three. This is phase three. Nice. The texture, though, is a bit... Hmm. I think that's what this what we wanted though. Like I guess they were going for a different Yeah, they tried to keep that. She has this almost like a sunburned look on her cheeks. It's like a different texture. You see that? And they tried to preserve that. How do you feel about it? I mean I'm glad they kept it. It's those little things. It does look a lot better. And, like, I think in general, the Ella's in female looks more youthful. More alive. And then... Oh, phase four. Looks... Oh my god, it's like night and day, for real. This looks so much better. <laughs> Some of the changes are just, like... Enormous. Okay. Uh, as for the dusk white... Mm -hmm. And I also want to look at the, um, the males. Let's see, I haven't done that. Nope. The male faces. But here we are. Yeah, this is phase three. That's the default. I'm turning off this lip color. Phase 3 is really dark lips naturally, and they, they did preserve that as well. The eyes seem to glow a lot more. The eyes look a lot better. More lively. The ears, I'm a big fan. Big fan of the changes to the ears. Uh, seeing the other faces. Here's phase 4. Yeah, I really like this one. It looks like the Ella's and ZC in the cutscene, like in the CGI trailers. This is usually what, <laughs> more like what they, they're meant to look like. There's phase two. Which looks really, um, has this really harsh angles before. Check when the sun's behind the ears. Oh. It's a little hard to see, but yeah, you can you can tell here. 
It's a little hard to tell, but I know what you're talking about. It creates a nice glow. It's very obvious in the uh, indoor scene. Okay, let's look. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Oh my god. That's adorable. Love it. Incredible work. Okay, and then face one. Cute. It's just cuter. They're way cuter. As for the males... Uh, Elizabeth male default boy can you check both at night uh i'll check the male let's see how they look so this is uh face one oh crap i don't want to change anything keep it the same This is so much fun. <laughs> I'm actually having a blast doing this. <laughs> okay, face one. Looks great. Oh, is Astinian's face? Really? He doesn't... Yeah, I think so. He was so handsome. Looks good. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Did I see? Honestly, he looks so hot. He really does. Do we have any neck scenes? No. Like default male Elizabeth, dusk white looks incredible. Now, the only thing is his eyes are uh, more dim here. But that's, that's just because of lighting. See, this is what people don't, don't realize. Actually, it's awesome to have... If you have white eyes, it's badass. Because look, here it's like almost a little bit gold from the reflection of the sand. And then here it's more white. Like icy, glowy white. Like, your character is going to seem just so much more lifelike because... And here you see the glow behind the ears, also. It's so flat and boring before. Like, we're... It's always the same, 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 same. And every lighting, you know, it looks so bad <laughs> compared to the new. Where now you have the glow behind your ears. Yeah. The tips of the ears look... Yeah, the tips. I'm already envisioning Astinian after. I think there's I think there will be more uh more Ellis and players after this update because this looks awesome. Uh okay, phase two. This is before and after. So before. Phase two for Oh yeah, you can see like actual texture the skin has. Here you see his pores and stuff. Nice. Massive upgrade. Uh okay. Face three. Oh, this is the baby face. This is baby face. Wow! Oh my god, it looks way less stupid. <laughs> the nose is a little short. Okay, from this angle, it looks even more baby. I'm gonna do fake nose five. On both. Dude, from this angle, he literally looks like a child. <laughs> It looks better, though. He 
Yep. Yep. Looks really good. He's just more young. Small elf boy. He's always looked baby faced, but now he's a lifelike baby. Yeah, he he looks more like his actual skin. Okay, let's see the other one. No, there I remember there was a face that was I really like how the uh, eye color glow sort of changes depending on the lighting with the light eyes. I think that's very pretty. <clears throat> oh yeah, phase four. Oh God. Whoa. Oh damn. Oh my God. Dude, it actually looks awesome. I feel like now he looks more like a... I'm going to change the hair color for this guy. He's more like a grizzled warrior. Grizzled old warrior. Before it was kind of jank looking. Let me change this. I'll give him a white hair. Cool. I think it's awesome. Clint Elfwood. <laughs> yeah. The the shape of the mouth is different. Uh, where he doesn't look as grumpy. You know, he doesn't look as perpetually grumpy. It's a little bit different. But I think it looks really great. That's your main. He's a little happier. He looks ever so slightly happier. Yeah, he's a bit more of a poker face than he did. I love this one. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Let me change the eyebrows. This is the different eyebrows. Eyebrow one. Yeah, oh my god, dude. <laughs> this is so much better. Wizened. What about the hairs for male? Oh my god. <laughs> uh. I really like Gandalf. It's cool. Massive fan. I'm a massive fan of this face. Did not expect. Uh, eye shape. Don't know idea what this is, but definitely looks better. <laughs> this is the male Ellison face four. Oh my god, did they fix our raw face four? Let's check the wild woods really quickly, too. God. Okay. Dude. <laughs> Let's check it in the benchmark. Face. It is, like, ridiculously better. <laughs> Oh, Gutera, thank you for the 33 month resub. And Cat Knight Alexander, thank you for the 8 month resub. Uh, Carson Yeager, thank you for the 3 months resub. Look at that difference. Let's give him some nice eye color. Wow. Unbelievable. Like, actually good older face. It's rare to find in a game. Unbelievable. Cool. It's cool. This is a massive W. It looks so jank previously. Okay, cool. Uh, so, other ones... What have we not checked out yet? 
I want to see his expressions, actually. Not. <laughs> Is that the hydrate? Now, how's the mouth look? That's before. It looks normal. I see no issue with the mouth. Uh, for the female, though, I saw some weird things. Face paint. Okay. Oh, one other thing. I wanted to check the beards. Okay, so this is a beard. I think it looks better without the beard. Let's see all the scars. Though. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this beard or mustache at all. <laughs> at all, no. Okay, let's see the other faces. Oh, yeah. Baby face. Actually looks good. It actually does look really good. The previous baby face was seriously missing some definition. Okay, phase two. Look, that actually looks amazing. This He looks like so, like a, any uh, Final Fantasy protagonist. Now that I'm really looking at it, like he could be the main character of any Final Fantasy game. This, this guy right here. In our uh, benchmark. <laughs> okay, phase two. Uh, other facial features. We can look at the beard on this one. Face two. Do we like the beard? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I feel like the beard, I feel like the mustache could be more bushy than it is. I, can't, I don't know. I'm on the fence about it. But I think I like it. Maybe if it was darker color. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. That's good. <laughs> it looks like your sister's ex. <laughs> I think it looks good. Keanu. <laughs> Let's turn off the highlights. Okay. The biggest problem I had with Ellison was the lighting always looked weird and harsh on their face. I think it looks amazing. Personally, look at that. He seems like a really cool pirate guy you could bring into Dawn Trail. You know? He seems like a good pirate character. I really like this one. I might make him a retainer. Uh, can you side by side face two, fam ara? Sure. Let's look at face one here really quick. We got a soul patch. Look, I'm not a fan of the soul patch, like ever. <laughs> I don't, I'm not, I'm not into it. I like the, uh, I, I do like the, um, sideburns, though. 
Nice. Actually, no. Forget the sideburns. <laughs> it looks better without. Nice. Better. Oh yeah. Let's let's put this hairstyle on our guy, on our pirate guy. This is the new hairstyle. Wait. Oh wait. I can't because it's not in the. I mean, I can't do it in the old one. But let's just look at it in the because this is brand new for the benchmark. This hairstyle. Let's put on our pirate face guy. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Viper Ellison. He would look so cool as a viper. I'm here for it. What about the ear shape? I kind of like this ear shape. I think it looks good. Amazing. This character looks so amazing. I really outdid myself this time. <laughs> I mean, is he as hot as a bunny boy? No, but he's close. No, but it's close. I think I might save this one. Cool. Amazing. Elizabeth looks so good now. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that guy. That's a real adventurer guy. Oh, you have a sword now? You can see their tongue in their mouth. Could you always see that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Not as well. Okay. Let's save. Save appearance. Cool pirate L guy. Okay. He is worthy. Okay. Who should we look at next? Chat. Someone wanted to do the side-by-side -side of our face too? I can do that. Ara female. Fa oh, I didn't look at Ara male. Did I? No, I didn't look at the faces. Here's the difference. I prefer with no lip color. I think it looks better with no lip color, but honestly, Ara is one of the winners. Like absolute win overall overall winners. They're just how much nicer it looks. She looks so soft. The lip shape is off. Yes, it is. Yes, I agree. The lip shape is wrong. Is it because of the lighting though? No, it's just different. The lip shape I don't like. They need to keep it more like how it was. I agree. But overall, it's really good. Scales more detail. There is there is one serious issue, though. Um, this is easier to see on Zayla. Mm -hmm. um, it's the next scene.
Yeah, there it is. You'll have to go into the benchmark and look at this yourself. But... Oh my god. In any case, we looked at it for a while before, so I don't need to do it again. But uh, I think it's actually a little harder to see on the face that... has so many scales on the neck. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's awesome. It looks, I love the scales. I love what they've done with the scales. I want to see the male, though, because I didn't look at that before. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is Zayla. Male. Face for before and after. So this was always my least favorite face. Aura male face four. And while it is improved, I still don't like it. <laughs> but I don't think there's anything they could do to make me like this face. I just don't like the the default face. Here. Now, maybe you can take off some of the extra scales. Uh, but I just, I'm not a fan of this one at all. I never was. Okay. But it's, I mean, look, the people who like phase four will be happy. <laughs> yeah, those people are going to be happy. Phase three looks amazing look look how stupid these eyes look in comparison to the new ones like this looks so cartoony and bad and they're just geometrical it looks like legos in his eyes compared to now it just looks so much more alive amazing Looks like an Oblivion character. <laughs> the cartoony was a bit endearing. It was. I'm sure there will be mods to, like, if you want to keep a really cartoony character, you can. I think he looks amazing. I think he looks amazing. I love Aura Males. That's one of my faves. Like, if there weren't bunny boys... Wait a minute, is that a seam? <gasps> yeah, but it was there before, too. <laughs> okay, yeah, but it was there before, too, so... It's still there, though. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Fix it. Fix that. Fix that. Well, it looks great. The hair. Oh. It's such anime hair as well. Okay, face three. Ooh, yeah. Or face two, rather. I can't count. Oh my god, this is phase two before. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, why did his eyes look so far apart before? I think this looks way better. <laughs> oh 
I really like it. Look at the difference, man. <laughs> right? It used to be so bad. I have not made my Hroth girl yet, no. I haven't looked at Hroth girl yet. Stormblood's gonna look so much better. That's so true. The eyes are trying to escape his face. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. He, like, actually, there are multiple hot um, Aura faces now. Like, really good. This looks so good. Oh my god. I'm, I'm actually gonna make an Aura retainer. Whoa, is that... Is that blood? Check it out. So here, previously on the horns, he had... Who knows what was going on here? <laughs> he had some polygons. But now... Oh, that looks sick. It looks like he has, like... It's ketchup. Oh, you okay. <laughs> a side by side is insane is insane for the scales yeah although i didn't realize the horns were actually that bad on the original but they are in fact that bad there's the and the eyes <laughs> Uh, uh. How can someone think Aura horns look better before? Well, they've just probably just eaten too many grapes. You know, it's it's uh messing up their judgment. <laughs> you eat too many grapes and you start seeing things differently. Yeah, the eyebrows. There is there is a lot going on uh, with the original. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Look at that. I think Aura <clears throat> Male is one of the best looking ones right out the box before you try to deal with shadows and lighting. And a reason for that is actually because of the shadows of the horns. The shadows that the horns cast on your face gives you, like, amazing shadows all the time, no matter what. <laughs> so, like, if you're bothered by how unpredictable shadows and lighting are, maybe you should play Aura, because um, you're going to look better in, almost, in more situations, I feel. <laughs> oh, wow. big glow up okay hold on let me take a screenshot here nice oh crap he was blinking damn it <laughs> okay i gotta save that Now, face one, did we look at that one? Oh my god, look at it. <laughs> Let's see it. Nice. Ooh, this horn looks so good. Cool. After this, Magni should find his Nama. He deserves it. Maybe this is all it's gonna take. Yeah, he's very horny. <laughs> okay. So Ryan. God. Ryan, phase two. This is out the this is the default. Smooth. He's smoothed over. Smoothed out a lot.
Dark Knight male aura is gonna be so hot. Yes. Let's see face one. This is Dawn Trail. The glow is not as strong, but it's better for it. It looks less goofy. Here's before. Face three. Yes, this is the new graphics update. I really like this face. And of course, face four, which, you know, it's face four. I don't know what you want. <laughs> it's not, it ain't it. I don't, I do not like face four. Okay. Let's look at yours. I'm saving the Hrothgar for last. Let's look at our cures. Uh -huh. Midlander. Okay. Here we go. Um, it's subtle. Ooh, but look, just the quality of the skin texture is so nice. It looks so soft. <laughs> the eyes. Yeah, see, the eyes not always having, like, the eyes reflection is going to be in different places. It's dynamic lighting for the eyes. I like the lips better on the left side. Yeah, I think in a lot of these, the lip shape is odd. Like, the, the lip shape seems to have changed too much. For a lot of them. Let's do the... I'm going to change eye color here. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Face 2, originally. Face 2 now. Ooh, my gosh. So she actually looks more adult. Than before. Don't you think? She looks a little bit more mature. The lashes. Yes. The lashes are a massive improvement. Maybe it's just because of the, the lips color. Yeah, that's why. So here's with no lip color at all. Do we have um, highlights? Yeah, there are highlights. I will put... Um, I'm going to put white highlights with black hair so it's easier to see. Or white hair with black highlights. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah. Here we are. You said you think the lip difference is the line between is darker than before. I feel like the shape is a little different. I think that um what what I'm seeing is that the bottom lip is more defined in color. Like with the previously the bottom lip had some sections that were more blurry and less filled in. And with the new version, it seems like the lips are like pencil, like you have put on a lip pencil and lipstick to keep it. Like it's a very defined lip area where before it was more patchy, I guess. We're looking at just the natural lip with no, um, and I think I prefer before. I, I like having it be a little bit more patchy where you have a light section here, here, and uh, in the top part of the middle. I think that looks nice. Um, it's like in, I don't know if you've played uh, Dark Dragon's Dogma too, but they let you adjust the lip color so that it can either be like in the middle part of the lip or, you know, full color. And I think that does make a big difference. But in general, like, look at this. I feel like <laughs> this nose looked so polygony before. 
now they kept the spirit of it, but softened it a lot. And they kept the texture on the face. Sort of different complexion features here. Uh, as for face three, this is a really popular face. Oh, wow! Oh my gosh, it's so cute! Oh my god, they're so cute! Let's give her a different hairstyle. Oh my gosh. I think it looks amazing. <laughs> That's actually a cute hairstyle on her too. Look at that. Wow. She looks adorable. I really like this hairstyle of her. This is some of the basic cure ones. Oh wow. <laughs> Here's before and after for that. I mean, I feel like it could be made a little bit more curly. Right here, there's like some sharp sections. But in general, it's better. Okay. Oh, wow. The eyes themselves, I just noticed, have way, like, have a way better, uh, like, more realistic texture of the eye. Do you see that? Here, it just looks like lines basic line stretch. I wish I could make it bigger, but I don't know if I can make it any bigger than this. You'll have to look at it yourself in the benchmark. But uh, in the current version of the game, the eyes look really unnatural. And now it looks more like how eyes actually look. It also seems like the eyes feel bigger because of that. <clears throat> I really like this face. They did a fantastic job with this face. Next one. Isn't this Rowena's face? I think it is. What do you think about it? I think this is one of those faces where my, my imagination filled in the gaps with it. It seems older to me. And the lips feel different. Like, it doesn't look bad, but this one definitely feels more different than some of the others. Like, the lips are really... seem bigger in a little different shape. The lip corners... You zoom out. Like, from far further away, too. It looks really nice. Let me change the hair. Back to that. Okay. And... Oh. The last one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Nice. Overall, the Hewer had a really good update. Yeah. Let's see different environment. Hmm. She definitely looks less cartoony. Can you show relics that? Yeah, but not yet. It won't let me do it from this screen.
Yeah, just looking more lifelike. <laughs> nice. They look good. It looks good. Okay. Let's look at the boys. Oh, there's also Highlander, though. Oh my god. Okay, let me look. So this is the new. And this is the old. <laughs> so this is one of these faces. This is a face where I feel like the ship, the uh, shape of the lips, was pretty iconic. In this one, they did kind of keep it, but it's more defined. I think this is another example where having the more patchy colors on the lips was something that gave a little bit more character to this face. So I prefer the lips before, um, even though literally everything else about this looks way better. Yeah, the lips for a lot of them are just feel odd to me. Um, another thing... Yeah, I think they should have left the lips alone because the shape looks different. The old lips to me look wrong. They look like she slipped when putting on her lipstick. To me, the old lips look... I don't really know how to put it. <laughs> I don't really know how to put it. I guess like the very bottom and very top are darker than the middle part. That's what I'm seeing. And that's not really been preserved in the new version. Yeah. You like the new lips a lot more. I mean... I'm not sure. I'm kind of on the fence about it. But I do like that they kept the texture of this face. Because she has kind of a darker section around the eyes. Which gives her kind of a tough look. And they kept that. I think they did a good job preserving that. So, in general, I'm pretty happy with this face. I want to see the eyebrows. I can't really see that well on this hairstyle. So, it's before. And then it's after. See, with this hairstyle, I think the lips look better. <laughs> and now, I think they look better now. There are more lowlights and highlights on the old lips. New ones look flatter. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And that's one of the first lips I've seen like that, where I felt that way. And they're just more flat. Uh, which is strange, because pretty much everything else about the models is less flat than before. Does white hair color matches the white dyes? I can check. That we don't know, really. It seems brighter white here, but it's just because we're in a very, like, it, the lighting is going to be a factor on that. Okay, let's look at the next face. Let's look at face four. Whoa. Now, this is a pretty big difference. <clears throat> This is a pretty huge difference, I feel. And it's the lips.
the lips are shaped quite differently. What if I do no color on the lips? None. She's not smiling anymore. I'm not a big fan of the lips for this face either. Before she has a little bit of a <clears throat> curl in the edge of her lips, which I think is nice. There's this like curve here on both sides. And now it's just kind of more flat. Which I, it's, I don't know about it. I wonder if you can change the color of the lip to. Yeah, I, w I guess I wish there was more dimension to the lip color. Maybe it's different with different skin tones, actually. Give her the light skin, Let's see. So this is original. And hmm. nose is way better. He said, so, Yeah, that's a little weird that she isn't smiling anymore. I guess they emulated the smile with the color before. Although I do believe this is probably a design decision for future dev. As a dev, I get it because you're doing the stylized coloring. Like, that prevents you from doing proper animation and blend shaping. Oh, yeah, I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, that makes sense, but... I definitely prefer the old lips. Both for uh, this face. Face 1 and face 4. Though I also think that with a lighter skin... Um, it's less apparent. Like here, there's a little bit more dimension in lip, but maybe it's just because I changed the lip color here. But anyways, okay. Uh, let's look at phase two. This is phase two. So you know, here actually, there is dimension in the lips color, quite a lot of it too so they can do it and they are doing it with certain faces but why not all see here it's like it's a lighter patch and there's darker patches so i think this one looks very true to how it was before only better so here i think they did a pretty good job they kept the shape of the lips Um, oh, okay. Next, phase three, Highlander. Mm. Turn off a little color. I think this looks good, too. I think this looks pretty good, too. Hmm. Angie. Kept the Angie. <laughs> it's the eyebrows that make her look so Angie. But I think any eyebrows on this face would be angry. Is that Hilda's face? I think so. <clears throat> okay. Here we have... Whoa. Male Highlander. Face three. 
Let's change. Get rid of the <clears throat> the beard so I can see it better. That's before. Wow. He looks less confused and scared. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yes. Without beard, it's worse. True. Put the beard back. <laughs> this is a, a better beard. Okay, let's look at the next face. Nope. Face four. Before. And after. Nice. Honestly, this looks way better. <laughs> this looks a million times better. It's not even a question. Wow. Much, much, much better. Huge improvement. Like, some of these, the improvement is way more dramatic than before. Like, look at how much better this beard looks. Like, the stubble. Before, it really was a mess. Now, it's more filled in. He even had patchiness previously. There, there was patchiness here and here. And, like, it was really, like, weird in spots. But now it looks a lot better. I also feel like the the colors look better, even though I, like these are the exact same colors on both. They don't have clumped toes in the benchmark. <laughs> we do in <it> hydrate. <laughs> Good idea. Good idea. Uh... <laughs> Phase two. Honestly, I feel like in the new version, he looks more intelligent. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, there's more intelligence to the eyes. I really don't know how else to put that. But here it just looks like so flat and lifeless. And it just seems like he knows what's going on better. <laughs> Let's change the hair. Ooh. Some of these hairs. This is the old let's look at this one how is this one different cool <laughs> have you ever played ff11 no i haven't but I feel like I should, since we're getting the FF11 Alliance Raid in Dawn Trail. Okay, next face. Face one. So before, this face was just... <laughs> like, what can I even say? It was jank. Wow. Look at that. Look at him now. Look at him now. You know what? It kind of reminds... It's like... A, it looks older. <clears throat> but in a good way. It actually looks like a... Cool grizzled warrior. Do we have a beard we can look at? Yeah. Check it out. Let's change his hair. Give him like a gray hair give him white eyes
in the same here. Oops. Okay. That's a pirate. Yeah, we got another cool pirate guy. Awesome. Let's put in the the armor, which also is a bit improved. <clears throat> What I really like is the definition of like these features on his face. This grimace that he has. Wow. It's cool. Okay. Also the nose looking way cooler. It just looks so boring before. It looks like he's made of Play-Doh or something <laughs> before. Now he looks like an actual character. Nice. Really good. Okay, let's look at our Midlanders. Boys. We are losing the girls. Okay, face. Basic. Basic boy. Whoa. Did he get a... <clears throat> Did he get a shadow here that wasn't there before? Did he... What the hell? <laughs> What's going on? I don't know about that, dude. Um... Did he age, like, a lot? Uh, I don't like this one at all. This feels like a huge change. What is going on here? Not a fan. You said, it looks like they changed it so it looks less like the Derplander face, which is now an option. Yeah, this is a, re this is a huge difference, it feels like. I also feel like the nose is really different. And not in a good way. I don't like it. <laughs> this is what I really don't like, actually. So far I've liked almost everything, but this one, not a fan. So now they've added a new option, you're saying, which is this one. Oh my god. That's what happened. <gasps> okay, so they took this face model. Face 5. And then they just added stubble to it. But they wanted it to look a little aged as well. So they did that. But they... This also retroactively changed this face. Face five. Oh my god. They just literally changed to face five. They are, yeah. They literally changed it. Because look, um, here it was before. It, like this is, in the bottom left, this is the current version of the game. So it's exactly the same. Phase 5 and Phase 7, except for the beard. But then when you go into Dawn Trail Benchmark, they had also added in Phase 5 the creases in the face and, like, aging it. So this face is completely different. <laughs> Why would they do that? Like, I... Uh... I don't mind. I don't know. I just. It's weird. <laughs> okay. 
I'd want to just keep this face like it was and then have the different face for uh, face 7. That's, that's odd to me. There's also the eyebrows changed in the Dawn Trail version. Slightly. But um, I'm, not, I'm actually I'm not a big fan of even the new face. <laughs> Because I don't think it looks that much like the guy in the trailer. I almost feel like they were afraid to, like, I don't know, like age him enough that it looks like the guy in the trailer. It feels kind of like not aged enough for that. But it just feels like an awkward level of aging. Does that make sense? Put the new hair on. Oh yeah, good idea. Oh, I can't do it in the old version, obviously. They, you don't have the new hair in the old character creator. I don't know. Like, looking at... Let's look at the Dawn Trail guy. Let's look at his face. Here it is. Okay, so here's who we're basing it on. And... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously it can't look exactly like in the CGI trailer, right? But I feel like there's different things they could have changed to make it look more like him. Okay, like the shape of the eyes. Like, the beard shape. Like, the shape of the nose. Like, make the nose a little bit wider and bigger. Give him, like, more of a pronounced jaw. Maybe, like... Give him a little smile. Give him a little smirk like he's got, right? Something like that. It just feels a little, like... Like, they took face five and were like, just change it a little bit. <laughs> And make phase seven. And I think they should have just started from scratch with the face for the Dawn Trail guy. Like, instead of doing this to phase five, <laughs> like, leave, phase, leave phase five alone and make a new phase, please. Uh, yeah. So that's, I'm not a fan of these at all, really. Not what they did to phase five and not new phase seven. As for phase six, um, feels like an Ellison face, kind of, doesn't it? That's not a bad thing. The Ellisons look really hot now. Is this Fan Daniel's face? I think so. I like it. I, I do like it. It feels unique. And different. <laughs> He's high. <laughs> I, I, I actually do like this one because it feels very different from the others. It feels uh, like long and long and skinny face. It's cool. I'm a fan. Okay. And here we have originally a, a really square jaw. And in the new version... Um, um, I don't know. <laughs> Turn off the lip color, maybe. Um, maybe it's the hairstyle. We need to make the hairstyle the same. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Which one are... Okay. Is like the hair is all the same? Uh, why does he remind me of Conan O'Brien? No. I don't know why, but that's who I'm thinking of. Oh my 
god. Look, 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 look. Look at his face. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, hold on, let me change this hair color. Okay. Wait, this is old. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you creating? The one on the right is definitely... <laughs> More... Did you get... <laughs> Did you get a jump scare from that? He, he has pretty round eyes. Uh, type 6. I like it. Yeah, I do like it. I, I do really like it. Even though I'm memeing on it. Uh, eye shape. Let's do type 6. Okay, so this is before and after. Okay, and... Type 3 face. Ooh! Oh my god. Listen. Old faces eaten good. <laughs> and Dawn Trail. I feel like the older faces look so good across the board. I like it. I really do. <laughs> oh. Well, how's he with a beard? Here's, uh... It's the guy who picks you up in the wagon at the start of the game. It's the intro guy. I like it a lot. <laughs> Is that the Yoshi P face? Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it is. It's a good, it's good. What about the nose? Change it. Okay. I can see every pore on this nose now. It's wild. Type 5. Yeah, you can actually see... Like, I think creases and wrinkles in the faces just look so much better. No? Alright, face 2. Baby face. I gave him pretty wide nose. But I like it. Uh, mouth. What do you think about it? What do you think about this one? Let me change his eyes shape back to type 1. Very Disney. Yeah! Yes, it is Uncanny Valley. Yes, it is. It is. Maybe it's the mouth. I don't know. It looks really weird. It does look really weird. Why? Is it because I just made a weird character? Let's do type 1 nose. Okay. Okay. The eyes seem... I think this nose looks better. I think the wide nose just seemed as strange on him. Yeah, I'm so used to the current models that some just look weird. Yeah, I, I think that's ha I think that's what's happening. 
is that we're very accustomed to the models being a certain way. And so some are gonna feel a little uncanny. Like, this looks better, for sure. This looks really good. Okay, phase one. Before. This is before. And after. Well, I think this one was significantly better and it's obvious. I really like this one. I think it's great. Uh, I like this one a lot. I really like this one. It's before. I think he's cute. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I like him. This is a this is a winner. Not all the male hewer faces are winners, but that's okay because everyone gets a free Fantasia. With the uh overall looking at all the new faces. This I really like face one. I really like face three. Phase 4 looks pretty good, even though now I can't get called an O'Brien out of my head. <laughs> um, this one, Phase 5, they added a weird crease to it, which I'm pretty mad about, because it was like, you you already have the crease phase. Like, why would you change Phase 5? I'm actually, this is not cool. Like, keep it the way it was. Why did they dramatically change Phase 5? Phase 6, I do like. I think it, the Phase 6 looks quite bad with the beard, but it looks good um, without it. And then we have the new face, which I, I don't like it. I don't like the new face because it doesn't look enough like our boy. Just like they needed to start fresh and make one that looks like that. Okay, but it doesn't look well, close. Okay, next. Rogadin. Let's look at the boy first. Okay. Okay. Uh, Rogadin male. The wolf face default face two. Wow, nice. You see just how little definition his face had before. Again, with the previous face, it was almost like it's made out of play doh or clay or something. And now you can see actual definition to the skin and pores and stuff. Way better. Uh, let's see face one. Face one was really derpy and bad before. <laughs> and now it's still derpy, but it looks good. <laughs> and um, I'm really happy to see what they did with the mouth. I think this is, a, this is an example where they did. They could have really fucked this up with the mouth. But uh, they stayed true to the different shade variations in the lips and the corners of the lips very well um, in a way that I wish they had done with some of the other races. But they did a great job with the lips and mouth and the corners. Um, that's been a kind of consistent issue I've seen, but this one looks... Again, wrinkles in the face and creases in the faces tend to look really, really nice in the update. So, this is probably one of the most improved faces I have seen. This face looks amazing, actually. <laughs> the more I look at it, the more I can see how much, how cool it is. Before, it looked really derpy. 
there's more shading to the eyes. Like before you have these like deer in headlights look, you know? Where he's like, oh. Uh, but now it's uh again kind of you know it looks looks smarter of course hair textures yeah are not gigantic pixels on your face um whoa so face one and two are awesome amazing face three Wow. <laughs> cool. Before... Uh, no, it, one thing I'm seeing is that... Uh, seems a little darker. No, that's right. Nice. It's crazy how much better the hair looks. Wow. His his face just seems so much more expressive. Honestly, the more I look at the old face, the more terrifying it becomes because it just looks like skin that's been stretched out too much. And now it looks like he's, you know, he's got a grimace. Okay. Face four. No, this was the derpiest face, I think, previously. Look at these eyes. <laughs> god. Oh my god. <laughs> now we have, like, actual definition to the face. This is actually a fairly handsome face. We actually have a handsome... Fairly handsome Rogadin face was the, was the one that was one of the derpiest looking before. I really love the creases here. And of course the eyes not looking like, <laughs> like gigantic saucers. Like flying saucers. He has eyes that look like eyes. Nice. Look how good that looks. Oof. How do you even compare these? Look at this, like, the difference here. It's a massive glow up. Yeah, it's huge. Okay. Guessing FF got an update. Yeah, the benchmark is out. You can download the benchmark right now and uh, make a character. We haven't looked at the Hrothgar females yet, but we will. Soon. Briefly looking at uh, Hell's Guard for the different color schemes. Uh, so before, they had a really dark nose here. And they did preserve that. Which I'm really glad about. Sometimes these little details can get lost. Wow, cool. He looks more beastly. You know what I mean? He looks like a uh, werewolf. No. Like he would make a really badass beastmaster. He looks just so lost and like <laughs> dumb in the old one. He looks like Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. Yes! Yes, he does! Yes, he does. That's who it reminds me of. It's fucking cool. Okay. Face two. We'd seen this with uh, other race. I mean, other clan. Narian said, I'm really upset about the change where Vina have the same pupil size as Rava and the beauty mark on male Vina being a small scar. I don't think it's intentional. I even tweeted about it. I think it's a, it doesn't even look like a scar. It looks like a bug. 
I think they fucked up. Because if you look at the texture of the scar, it, it's not that. I think they actually fucked up with the male uh, mole beauty mark. Okay. Phase three. This is before and after. Here, of course, this looks darker, but I think that this is just a lighting thing. Where in certain lightings, like basically shadows and dark stuff and light stuff on your face are going to react more normally to light and shadow. And I think this is a massive improvement and positive change. And look how cool the light looks like on this uh, wrinkles on his face and the creases on the bridge of his nose. It's awesome. Man, Rogan is looking amazing. Okay, here's... Uh... <laughs> Gosh, this is such a derpy face for. And now. Looking way better. He looks like a bear. He actually looks like a bear. That's cool. Have you tested face markings? Not a lot. Some of these look like they could be improved. Like, look at this. I can see pixels. Some of these need to be uh, looked at again. Because, <laughs> like, what is going on here? This shouldn't be happening. So I haven't tested a lot of that. Uh, as for tattoos... Like, the tattoos look great, right? It is looking good. Here's it before. Okay. Uh, let's look at the women. So this is OG. Female. Hell's Guard. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. She looks so fun. Look, before she looked like she had such a boxy nose. I feel like some people are going to be mad about the change though because this was this boxiness was kind of iconic. And now she looks like a more like a hewer. But it looks so good. <laughs> I mean, if you look at the side, right, it's the same shape. It is the same shape of nose, but it had this like, it was like a rectangular thing. I think it looks so good, but I mean, I wonder, I wonder how the uh, Rogan players will feel because this boxiness is such a big part of the character. The lips. Lips issue is similar to what I've seen with your female. Uh, but it's actually not as defined in the bottom as the hewers. Let's see, changing the lip color. I'll turn off the lip color. It says before and after. Yes, the thing is that I'm seeing that I don't really love is that um, for a lot of lips, even with the lip color off, it looks like there's still lip color. Uh, in the previous version, it was more obvious before and after putting it. But I think she looks so hot, honestly. The geometry is more polished. And, like, the difference in the shadow of the nose is massive. Like, it just looks, uh... 
Oh, look how cute she is, though. Look how cute she is. So pretty. I think more people might play. Let's see the different hairstyle, maybe. Uh, do you think Preach is going to be... Has Preach seen it yet? Has he said anything about it yet? Isn't he in Hawaii right now? Uh, I'm just going to look at this one. This I like the hairstyles where you can actually see... Actually, uh, Roganin has some of the best native hairstyles. Uh, oh yeah, man, I love it. I really love how she looks. Okay, let's look at face four. This is face four originally. Also, you know, very boxy. They kept this one very boxy. <laughs> it's still quite boxy. Look at it. Like, they they preserved it pretty well, I'd say. I almost feel like she looks even more sassy now. The mouth lost a little bit of the curve on the edge, which I don't like. But uh, I love the expression that the face has overall. The nose uh, is dark, but it's just going to respond differently to lighting and shadow. Let's look at the... in the in. So it's in the in. Wow. So here you can see the difference better, I think. <clears throat> you can see that difference a lot better there. Hmm. You can definitely see how the shape of the lips is quite different, though. It's missing that little curve. And the shadow underneath the lip is not a, is softer. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the old eyes look really dead now. So... Let's look at the sea wolves. It's a little bright in here. <laughs> Though that's before and after. We have some, like creases that are have light coming bouncing out of them which is a bit odd let's go back to town so this is before Hmm. I don't know about this one. I don't know. What do you think? The lips on that face are good. Like, the lips and skin morph together well. Not a hard line. Yes. Yeah, I agree. I really like that. Even though there is lip color. Like, the way lip color applies to lips of different characters is super inconsistent. <clears throat> Let's change the hair. This one. Here we go. So it's before. It 
it's like, I guess for the main part of the face that gives it the definition is these shadows, these sharp rectangular shadows around the nose. But in the new version, it's just much softer. And I don't know if that's something that all the Rogan and players are going to love. Um, because the shadows was... Being in the middle of the face... Now it's like more, more natural how this face would look. If that makes sense. Okay. Uh... I really liked Phase 3. I love Phase 3. I think Phase 3 looks fantastic. Really. It's so, it's so good. I think they did a great job with that one. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, okay, so we've looked at Rogan. We looked at Hewer, we looked at Elizin. Um, we haven't looked at Lala, though. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, Lalafell, Plains Folk, Phase 1. Wait, what do I do? The girl. Here we go. There's a difference. I guess they also will have the the ears glowing, kind of, in front of the sunlight, like the Elizabeth did. So. This is a plains folk. The eye color is has more of a gradient in it. But I think that could be reflecting from the ground. Yeah, it is a little bit. Which I love. I think that's a really cool feature about the Dawn Trail. Uh, light eye colors is they start to reflect the environment a bit better. Put this white eyes. Oh my god. The eyes before look so bad. I feel like... Now they're much more... They're, well, actually, in the new version of the eyes also look pretty crazy. Like, they look... I mean, they're not meant to look like human eyes, of course. They almost remind me of cat eyes, somewhat. It looks better. It's more of just like a, a soft gradient than before you can really clearly see these lines in the eyes. <clears throat> the face itself, I mean, it's not meant to have a lot of definition. But it looks more like, a, more, um, again, you know, just softer, more dewy. Like the... I think the nose looks a million times better. Before the nose looks really strange, honestly. It looks kind of glued on. And now it looks more like a natural part of the face because of the uh, sort of shininess to it, I think. The scarf. Oh my god, yeah, look! That scarf. Holy shit, it looked bad before. Oh my god. Now it actually looks like a scarf. What a difference. It's like a CGI. <laughs> Lollafell versus. Okay, so let's look at the other faces. Face 2. Now that I'm looking at face two, in uh, the actual game, I feel like 
the old version is so creepy. <laughs> the old version feels really creepy now. Because now I can't stop looking at how unnatural the nose and mouth look before. Like, this looks just like it's been cut out of the face. And the nose looks like it's been glued on. Like, I can't unsee it now. Okay, face three. This is one of my, this is probably my favorite face. I really like this one. This is like the precious moments face. <laughs> and again, this has uh, facial features on it. Oh, you can make the nose more dark. What was the other features? I'll put on all those features. Yeah. I will turn off the nose darkening though because you need to see the nose better. Let's look at the different environment. I think this is so cute. Now, strangely, Lollafells don't get the ear effect that Elizen got. What the hell? What's up with that? Why don't Lollafells get it? <laughs> <laughs> Your ears stick out just as much, if not even more, than Ella's in. And yet... The fuck? Because look, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you weren't here... Let me just quickly show you. Mm -hmm. See? You can see the glow of the light shining through... The ears here. Yeah, which is a really nice feature. And I'm surprised. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Lollafells didn't get it. Are they just too short? Maybe they're just too short. Yeah, maybe that's what's going on. I can't tell. But we'll have to do testing for that. But overall, yeah, looking a lot more lively. Face four is here. Before and after. Looks a little less smug. I don't know about this one, but I wasn't ever, like, I didn't ever use face four. I always liked face three. I don't know about it. I like the uh, redness to the skin. Get less Karen. <laughs> I want to see the uh, Dunes folk with their different. Okay, this is Dunes folk. Different eyes. So it's before and after. I'm going to change the eye color. So it's easier to see difference. They kind of stayed true to the texture uh, of like these lines here, but there's more depth to the eyes. There's like a, a middle, you can see the, um... let me see. Oh. It's a little bit just more detailed. There's just a little bit more detail than before. I feel like it glows less, but I don't actually know. It's not that. It's just the where the where you're standing in the lighting. Like that's what determines how much it glows, which is cool. The hair looks a lot better. This face scares me, actually. The more I stare at it. <laughs> But it kind of scares me in both versions. <laughs> That's just how this face is. Let's look at a different face. Okay, this one is cute. Face three. I love face three. I think this is very nice. I feel like it's more angled. I feel like the eyes are more angled, but maybe it, I'm just imagining that. Maybe it just seems like that because the eye texture is being a little different. I think this one's really cute. Really good. 
phase two. Again, like you can see the nose looking more. I don't know what they were talking about with these chins, though. Like the chin stuff. I'm not seeing it. I don't know what that is. The face one. I feel like with the Lollapels, I noticed the differences between the faces a lot better, a lot easier now. Yeah, they added a lot of subtlety here. The way that the shadows cast across the face of Lollafell is so much better. <laughs> oh my god. That's a pretty huge improvement. Really cute. I like this face a lot too. I like face one. Okay. Boy. It's gonna be kind of the same. It would be pretty similar, so... Oh. All of Felt Boy. Here it's... This before. And after. Cool. I feel like the cheeks look fuller. The Dudenfell eye looks more like it's a lens. You can see the rest of the eye. Under the cornea. Yeah. I think this face looks a lot cuter. It's because of the shadows. Because there's better shadows on the face. It just gives it more character. Uh, face one. Face. It's very similar to the female. Face three. This one definitely seems like more mad. <laughs> A little more mischievous. Face four. Nice. See a different eye color. Let's try white. Before and after. It's a cool effect on the eyes. Wow. <laughs> I think it looks awesome. Like, it's not supposed to look human, but I think it looks really good. Okay. We have seen everything except Rothgar. <laughs> Let's see the new Hrothgar. Males first. Uh Okay, this is phase four. Before. No, this is a newer one, so it's probably not gonna be as big of a difference. <clears throat> but you can see the horn looks better. A lot better. Um the face tattoo. I don't know, the face tattoo looks a little blurry. But I guess that's how it would look when it's on fur. It's like... Into the fur. I'm gonna make it black. The blackest black color. It's actually part of the fur now, so it makes more sense that it would look like that. So you look more furry. Yeah, they've improved fur textures quite a bit. Wow. OK. 
Okay, let's look at the next face. <clears throat> How are the ears? Pretty similar. Oh my god. Phase 3 was weird before, and it's still weird. <laughs> you don't have to have that, though. You can turn it off. I don't know. Like, I feel like... This still looks quite strange. On the bottom. I don't know about that. But it's, a, it's supposed to be an odd face. Can change more hairstyles. At least. Uh, I like this face without the other facial features, but it doesn't look very different to me. Like, I'm having a hard time seeing big differences between these two. I can see the difference in the eyes and in the hair, but beyond that, it's a little difficult. Okay, face two. It's because, like, looking at fur, we're not as used to looking at it as looking at skin. So your eye isn't as trained, but you can see the look, the eyes looking more dewy. You said the texture in the neck slash collarbone area shows good fur-like detail compared to before. Let me see. It's pretty minor, but I think I see what you mean. I think I see what you mean. Let's take off the clothes. Yeah, I don't have an eye for this at all, I feel. Hmm. The other fur looks kind of like, kind of plastic-like still. Yeah, right here. I kind of feel like that too. I kind of feel like that too. I feel like it could be more fluffy. It almost looks like grooves in plastic. So I'm not... I want it to be more fluffy. Okay, let's see face one. Runar. Whoa, what the vibe? The... The beard. Oh, one's checked and one isn't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, one, is, one got checked. You can just take these off if you want. To me, I really struggle to tell the difference. Uses more whisker. Yeah. Okay. Let's do have him do a face. Like a There we go. Hehe. <laughs> I mean, if you look at the nose, you can definitely see better fur there. I have to look at it for a while to really tell. But now I've started to see it. There's more definition in these places here too, where his brow is. The side of his face. 
It's just reflecting the shadows better. Okay. Well, you know what time. You know what? I have to look at now. I gotta look at the Roth girl. Okay. Roth girl. Oh my goodness. The Lost. I would pick this one, of course. Uh -huh. The real cat girls, yeah. Okay, let's let's get up close, personal here. So they do not look like Kaji. Actually, they actually do not look like Kaji. They look like their own unique thing based on this, uh, the Ronzo. As for the face, this one's really cute. Also cute. All four are good faces and look different enough from each other. I think I like the face one the best. Face four feels more human to me. It feels a little more human than like the lips. Something about them feels but you can't change that. First one looks like Khajiit. Yes, the first one looks like Khajiit. This one looks really different. What are the profiles? Pretty similar. Some of them your snoot protrudes more than others. Eye color. I think I like face one the most, but I just want to mess around with this one a bit. What kind of snoot can you get? I want a big one. <laughs> Maybe a round, round one? I like that. What about the f tattoo color? Okay, I want to do face one, I think. Whoa. Yeah, this is a good face. But my issue was I felt like the hairs weren't, weren't big enough. Oh, that's cute. I wanted to like big fluffy mane, you know what I'm saying? These hairs need to be more puffy. That's a pretty decent one. Uh, fur pattern. Oh, she's jacked. Uh, I like this a lot. I know it looks really cool. Yeah, this is the best one. Um, height. So tall. Booba. Tails. All lion tails. There's two types of lion tail. This is a better one. Nice. Okay, for color. Pattern. Oh, for the hair. And, okay, white hair. Pattern. Oh, what if white pattern and then for the other is different skin color if you can call it that yeah it would be like purple <laughs> nice she seems like she has skin actually she's not completely covered in fur all around is she like the legs look like 
No, she's covered in fur. Or she's furry. But in some places she seems way less furry. It's very thin. Let me change the eye color. I think yellow looks cool. Or maybe like pink. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Maybe make her a little... Man, my nose is so stuffed. I wonder why. Yeah, like that. Okay, we change the eyes. Cool. Um, what do you think? Did other races have red eyes? Yes, any, you can give red eyes to any race, and in fact, Viera traditionally have red eyes, but for Allegan Royalty, there's a specific shade of extremely red eyes that you cannot give your character in character creation. It is unavailable to players, but... They do let um, a certain character use it because he fits the criteria. What do you think? This different hairstyles for different. Oh my god, what? What? Just like they did originally with Frothgar male. They didn't learn their lesson. This hair, I think, it looks quite bad. It looks really bad. Really bad. Uh, this looks cool. But why is it locked to faces to different hairs? Oh my god, that's so annoying. Why would they do that? This hair looks good, but I don't want to use this face. No, I got to. Oh my god. Yeah, you got to. This is horrible. Why would they do that? This character actually looks great. Looks really cool. But I'm I'm kind of annoyed because I thought that they've they've seen with Hrothgar male so first of all not only is your choice of hairstyle limited to your face that you've chosen so that means that you're going to need a fantasia to select from the different hairstyles but also what about the additional hairstyles that you unlock like are you only going to have the ones that hrothgar males can use or can you even use those because those aren't listed here That's just a, it's a concern because we had this happen already with Frothgar male. I really like this one, actually. Oh my god, what? <laughs> Weird. Oh my god, look. I don't like this. At all. Okay. Facial features. What else we got? Eyebrow? Uh... I don't know. Uh, look how cute she is. How can I make her even more cute? I wanted a purple, like a bluish character. Like that. Uh, 
I think green... Green goes with purple, doesn't it? Yes. I think that looks really nice. I like this face. I'm so upset that they've decided once again to tie the hairstyles to the faces for Hrothgar. Unbelievable. This is happening again. But okay. Because... Really, so you need fl big fluffy mane. You need it. That means I'm stuck on this hairstyle. Uh, this hairstyle, I, I mean, this face, I really don't know about. Like, I like there being a face that's that's more humanoid, like more human. I think that's cool. Like the lips seem a little bit more human, which is kind of interesting. But um, when I try to change other parameters of the face, it just doesn't seem to change that much. I also, I feel like you can't, you can't really adjust this as much as I, I would, as I would want to. Like, I would like to have maybe longer eyelashes and, um, change the position of, change the type of mouth. Maybe we can. No, you can't. You can't change the mouth shape. That looks good. This looks good. I don't know, there's just something about it that's off. Wow, that looks crazy. Black eyes looks kind of cool. Oh yeah, I kind of like that. Oh my god, look how kawaii that looks. Oh my god. <laughs> it looks kind of like, like demonic. But it's okay. <laughs> I think it's cute. Oh, they're a cute little kitty cat. Yeah, the... Is she just staring into the soul, though? Yeah, the dark color is really... Okay, what about other facial features? Fang, fang Link. Oh my god, look how cute! Oh my god! Every face is now better. But why does this one have black teeth? And this two have... And also, the teeth are a little bit darker color than her white, white hair. That's cute. You think the small teeth? I like the big ones. <laughs> this is what they did with the moon Mikote's fangs. This is what they did. They took them away from you, moon cats, to give them to Hroth girls. Are you going to take this line down? Are you just going to let them do that? Unbelievable. They needed extra. I see where they got it. They were sacrificed. Yes. <laughs> Eyebrows. Oh. That's cute. It's cute, but I wish I... That's not really the face I wanted. <laughs> because the hairs are tied to the face. Oh, I'm so annoying. So annoying. You can, sh okay. You can be even more kawaii. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good. Actually, uh, what I should do, tattoos, uh, a face paint color, I'm gonna do dark, I'm gonna do like, it can make your eyes look like they're glowing a little bit, if you do this. It's kind of neat, that's cute. What about the voices? Oh, 
Oh, we can see different emotes. <laughs> I feel like I should have an orange cat, though, because, like, it's me. Let's face it, I'm an orange cat. You know? I don't make the rules. But can you not be bright orange? What the? Are you? Are you serious? You can be yellow. I guess that's good enough. What the? That's pretty close. Okay. I like the face pattern here. I think that looks awesome. But the best hairstyle is this one. Yeah. Which locks you in to the face. You can make your hair color orange. Right? Yeah, you can do that. Okay, eye color. That's fine. Tattoos. Alright, good. Her pattern. Um, tiger. Okay. Cool. What else? <laughs> that looks really nice. Like, the way the face paint looks on the froth girl uh, fur is really neat. That, I think it looks cool. What about... Can you do highlights? No. No, you can't. Actually, I'm allergic to cats. That's why I'm sneezing so much. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Fluffy. All right, we're good. This cat is good to go. Her color. Save it. Oh wait, no. What about the voice? You can see some of the emotes. No. No. That's pretty good. I like that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh, what? No, that's too much. <laughs> oh my god. That's okay. That's okay. That's a little too subdued, though. I like a big laugh. Oh, that's good. That's a good growl. Yeah. Yeah, growl is good.
Okay. Um, cool. Cool. Save appearance data. Uh, yeah. Orange cat. I made it. What about fingernails and toes? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The fingernails and toes. I don't think I looked at Vina either. Mm. Just before. Okay. So this is new. Bef this is a new version that I'm looking at. And yeah, he's he is still hot. He's still super hot. <laughs> okay, face two. Looks way better. Oh my god. Face two looks a million times better. Let's change his eyes. Yes. He looked like too much of a baby face before. And now it just looks much more lifelike. That's what we want. Real bunny boy. Oh, is the sun shining through his ear? Oh my god, I think it is. Oh my god, y'all, look. I think that the sun shines through the bun boy ear quite beautifully. Like Ellison. Yes. Yes, it does. Oh yeah. Amazing. And this is my favorite face. Looks just as good, if not better. Oh, it does look better. I mean. And you keep your bunny nose. All the worry about bunny nose was unfounded. Yeah, I like how the sun... You can definitely see the sun effect on the ears up there. Amazing. Just when I thought bunny boys couldn't get even better than they already are. <laughs> Literal glow up. Yes, your ears glow in the light. Depending. You can see it. Shadow there so pretty <laughs> prefer previous nose well the thing that um should be mentioned and that is that i've noticed from looking at all of these character models is that the nose is and really any feature on the face is gonna look really different depending on your the shadows and lighting that are affecting you at the time so previously we had a more because less shadows and reflections it was more consistently going to always look the same there was and now there's going to be more variance depending on where you're at and that's going to take some adjusting too like depending on where the light is and how it it's going to just affect your character in a more natural way like that looks amazing he looks so good and so I think once people get in, out into the world, get into G-Pose where they can shift the camera around for themselves and see better, um, they're going to be pretty happy with it. But yeah, the eyes. Looking so much more lively. <laughs> Mm. 
Ya. <laughs> Bunny. <laughs> Bunny. <laughs> It's way better than WoW tunes. Oh my god, yeah. Yes. Great. Uh, and then there was face four. Also a very good face. That was before and after. Now, this one, I do feel like the shape of the nose might have changed. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it did. I feel like the positioning of the unshadowed part is a little bit different. They're both nose four. Let's do nose two. New one looks a little younger. Yeah, I think so. I really like it. I'm a fan. That's good. Uh, there was, there's a lot of hysteria going on right now about the characters. Um, but I think a lot of, while a lot of it is unfounded and people just freaking out because the character is different, there's still a good bit of it that is, uh, like, worth thinking about and considering. Like, actually, right now I'm looking at the character, and I see a line here. Do you see what I'm seeing? There's, like, a line that goes straight across. Looks like a straight horizontal line. Um, do you see what I mean? Maybe if I change the skin color, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, it was kind of more apparent on some of the darker skins, I think. Yeah, I don't know what that is. You can't see it. Yeah, it doesn't go away, no matter what. It's just some skin colors is more obvious. Let me try it into different lighting. Yeah, here, now that I've seen it, I can't unsee it. Like, once you see it, I see it everywhere. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, there's, it's like a texture line. I think the easiest place to see it is in Thanalan. Yeah, it's here. Here we go. You can't see it. It's faint. Yeah. Uh, I might be able to, like, make it bigger. For you, uh, snipping tool, enhance. Well, that's not a very good screenshot either. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's probably on the old one too. In any case, I'm happy. Uh, also, comparing the from before, the clothing to now. Nice. Overall, it's great. 
overall, I'm extremely happy with uh, the update. I think that they... There's some cases where... Mainly when it comes to mouths uh, and lips, where I feel like it's, things are a bit odd. There were a couple cases where I was just... I, I didn't like the vase. Look at the, with the Hewer. But by and large, I really enjoyed uh, all of the updates. Um, where is my character? Bunny boy. Original moon cat. Peach bun girl. What's peach bun girl? What is that? God, I have so many characters. How is... Oh, that's so cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Peach Bun Girl looks so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> On the update. I love Peach Bun Girl. And the hair is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Adorable. Simply adorable. Different lightings are going to affect your character in really different ways, though. Perfect. I never know what I'm going to find in my... Uh, like, I've made so many characters, I just love to play around in character creators, so I wanted to spend a lot of time on this today. Um, me as a Hrothgar, precious baby. What? <laughs> precious baby. What the hell? Oh, was this... This was our boy that we made because of the sub goal for me to change. Okay. That was a donation goal, guy. Yeah. What are the other ones that have? I'm curious. White hair bun. Gray bun. Oh yeah, original skin tone. 2020 bun. Oh, that's pretty. That looks great, too. Man, there's so many good-looking characters I made. Wow, awesome. That's so nice. Now I'm going to have a hard time deciding which version of my character I want to play. I think I would do without the, uh, the blush. That's nice. This is the Shadowbringers era. Bun Bun, yeah, I think so. Let me load up a different one. The noses look perfect. Okay, yeah. 5.5 current. Oh, it's a Lala felt. Retainer, boozy, new Lala. Tallulah. That's my cat's name. This is a Lollafell I made. Looks extremely similar to before. <laughs> I mean, it's a cute Lala. It's super cute. That's a new version. I've forgotten about all these characters I made. Cute patat. Um. I I D K pink kawaii J P all. Boonzy, ballsy. Original moon cat I already made. I already looked at that. Zepgar. Bun girl. Cool pirate elves. Oh, we just made that today. Male bun, black hair. Nice. Nice. Looks really fucking good. Okay. Look at that. Oof.
I might give him a darker look there. Really good. Lips. That's the new bunny boy. Well, I made the markings extremely light uh, on him. Uh, on purpose. Yeah, light. Because uh, I wanted it to look kind of faded. It looks pretty awesome. My, I can't wait to see all my bunny boy retainers in the game. Y'all, the, the expansion is going to be out really soon. We have... Ultra Kawaii JP Alt. Okay. Ultra Kawaii. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh my god, it is though. Oh my god, she's. I was so right. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Uh <clears throat> Great. Version 3, God. Plushy character. Geralt of. It says Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> Bunter of Blaviken. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> of course. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, I see it. Okay, I see what I was trying to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. I mean, it looks good. I think he needs, like... Classic. Geralt. I mean... That's nice. Okay, well, uh... Oh my god, it's 3.30. <laughs> How long have we done this today? About five hours. Oh my god, it's been five hours? No way, dude. No way. Did I sit- did I really sit here and do this for five hours? No fucking way. Oh my god. <laughs> I could probably do this for another five hours. Like, I'm- I'm so locked in right now. <laughs> oh my god, and I haven't looked at people's benchmark characters either yet. That's true. I guess we can do that tomorrow. Yeah, we can probably, because it'll give people more time. Uh, oh, you're back to FF14? Yeah, I mean, I, I never stopped playing FF14. I just don't play it every day anymore because there's no reason to do that. <laughs> there's really no reason to do that. Um, but I am going to be doing Elden Ring tomorrow at, after a couple of hours, like, I want to spend some time looking at people's characters and stuff. Yes, I left, went to two classes, and came back. <laughs> but yeah, today I've got to, like, I have to pay my taxes. I need to figure that out and estimate my taxes. It sucks. So I won't be able to sit here all day, unfortunately. Uh, Bun Boy Blue, Bunny Boy, Brunette. <laughs> Cute one. I thought I had more than this. I was pretty sure I did. Mm. 
but I don't know what happened to them. Oh, hairstyle. Nice. Nice. Okay. Well, um, I'm gonna probably end, even though I really don't want to. And I'd rather just sit here and look at Bun Boys, uh, obviously. <laughs> Today, I really, uh, I fell into the rabbit hole <laughs> of looking at benchmark stuff myself. Um, so, yeah. 